I keep that thing on me. God damn it, Bobby. They see me selling propane and now they trying to copy. Pretend to be broke, but I got hella cash. If you use charcoal, I'ma kick your ass. Made this money from propane, bitch. I feel like Pablo Escobar, but I don't sell cocaine, bitch. Ooh, I forgot how good White Claw is. They're so good. White Claw's so fucking good. delicious. I know, it's been I a while. I drink it on the daily. It's been a while. Do you hear this? Do you hear the hiss? Yeah. It's this. Is it the hub? It's the laptop. Yeah. <laughs> Is it going to be bad? I mean, no, like, it'll, it'll filter out whenever I'm done, but... Okay. Then why bring it up? I was just like, I was trying to figure out where it's coming. just wants Stark to feel like shit. Do you feel like shit? No, this is the first time I've seen people yes, in two weeks, man. I'm happy. <laughs> abuse me. He's been stuck abuse at home with his me. kids and wife for I two weeks. I was just trying to figure out where it was coming from. That, that was the thing. <laughs> Can I hit intro? Uh, no, not yet. We're not ready yet. Oh, okay. I told you that we'll do it when we feel like we're ready. Do you? Does it feel right, Stark? No. Does right now feel right to you? Well... Does that feel good? That's what she said. Does this feel good? Hey yo! Do we go three, two, one, and go? Drop it. Intro. Intro. Oh no! <laughs> oh, hello everyone, <laughs> and welcome to the Funky Panther. Coming here from Fort Worth, Texas. Man, we have had a hell of a past hour trying to get everything working. So. You know, forgive us on video, but if you're listening, everything is completely fine. Thank you for joining us here on episode number 77. We've got our friend Jordan here. You want to say hey? Hi, guys. So uh, <laughs> sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's get into it. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. I'm Tim. And I'm Stark. <laughs> and we are... God, this is weird. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> Panther! You could have you could have queued up your camera. You could have just said, "No," and 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 I'm intern. (laughs) Nobody needs to know your name. What the fuck, man? Wait, let's 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 do let's do it again. Stark didn't know he was jumping in there. Are we just gonna do the whole thing again? Just fucking do it. Do it. Let's just do the whole thing. Just do the whole fucking thing. I just don't feel comfortable. Me neither. We're not waiting five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get started like right now. Oh, kill me! Fucking kill me! Oh, hello everyone, and welcome to the Funky Panther, coming to you from Fort Worth, Texas. We've got another wonderful episode for you here on episode number 77. Uh, we got our friend Jordan here. You want to say hey? Hi, guys. Again. I feel like we've done this already. So uh, <laughs> sit back, behind? relax, and enjoy, and let's get into it. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. I'm Tim. And, and I'm we Scott. are... The fucking Panther. He has the fucking YouTube stream up. God damn it! Yeah, I had to. I had to. Well, I mean, obviously, I don't. Okay, forget it. All right, we're live. (laughs) Do we need to do it again? Yes. Start it all over again. Oh my god! This is when Jordan just like. I just wish I was not here. I thought you guys were pros. Oh no! (laughs) Oh, you were well wrong. It's like I thought you guys know better than that. What the fuck's wrong with you guys? You know better than that. Fuck. So we had a couple of technical difficulties. If you're watching uh, uh, on video, you know, <laughs> that was fun. If you're listening to us, everything's just fine. It just went smooth, beautiful. Everything is great. But thank you for joining us either way. Hey, if you don't already do so, make sure to follow us on social media at the Funky Panther. You can also find us at thefunkypanther.com. If you don't already do so on YouTube, subscribe, like, comment. We'd love to hear from you. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> let's get into, you know, what have we been up to? I'm Chad. We, I'm we already, Javier. No, we, we, we already did this. Oh, so, sorry. But, let's start with Jordan. Hey, Jordan. How you been? Hi, Jordan. What did you do this past weekend? Um, this weekend. Wait, wait, wait. We need to intro her again because uh, do what we? if people don't know who she is? I'm Jordan. I am. I don't know. This is Jordan. <laughs> she is Jordan. So a uh, little background about Jordan. She's already been on the podcast once before. You can find her about a year ago. Was it, about, it was pretty yeah, close it was like to right a year, year ago. ago. Um, Jordan has got a clothing line called Forever Reckless. She also has her own podcast with the same name, Forever Reckless, which we'll get into here in just a little bit. But otherwise, she's just a very close friend of us. And uh, last week, we talked about her because we got these fantastic sweaters from her uh, that say canceled on them. And they're from Forever Reckless. You can find them on her shop. It's very fitting for us, I feel. 
mm-hmm. uh, shopforeverreckles.com. Boom. Yes. Is that a good intro? That is. Is that, is that, that decent? Is, that makes me sound like a awesome human being. You are a, you are an awesome human being. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So uh, now let's get into, how was your weekend? My weekend was good. It was really chill. Um, Friday night, I picked a pizza and like did a little movie night, movie date night, you know? Nice. Um, then on Saturday, we went over to Free Play. Have you guys been there? No. No, no. no. I, did oh, talk cool. to, I did talk about it today with a, uh, a guy that I uh, do work for in Burleson. It's so cool. You go in, it's like twelve dollars a person, and then yes. it's like unlimited games. You no don't have shit. to get like tokens or anything like that. Well, let's do that. Where is it? Where is it? Magnolia. It's, Magnolia. it's the old like, library right by uh, Kane oh, Rosa. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Actually, the reason why I told them about it was because I had just finished listening to your episode. Yeah. And which aired today. Real friend. Comes out Tuesdays. By wow. week, they just started last week, but yeah, wow. sounds like a really cool place. You said they had DDR over there, yeah. And I love DDR. Like growing up when we we're in high school, like I would go to the mall strictly for it. And whenever we would like uh, have little get-togethers, we'd find like an arcade that had DDR. It's super cool. Yeah, I didn't do DDR this time because I was too embarrassed to do it by myself. But Aww. we can go, and yeah. I'll do it with you. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, actually, I, I did have another question. Where'd you get the pizza from? It's a lot. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, but let me ask you this. Uh, Did you do a spicy pizza? Because you killed us with that one. I don't like, like guys. It's a normal pizza. Look, I you, didn't do. I did like pepperoni you, jalapeno, but that normal that pizza's. I order it. All I know, the time. and you even you just put, like it spicy. Period. Yeah, but you said that one was like you like the one the one you got, got at Reservoir was a little bit. Everyone, it was hurting everyone. It was spicier yeah. than normal. I feel. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Even you it's were the hot AF. You yeah. were like it's dying painful, too. but yeah. it's good. It you is. Just, yeah, I, I will say that. Fine. I will say yeah. you fucking liar. I'm a, I'm a real man, and I was fine. Yeah. Have you? Uh, you want to do that one chip challenge again? Hey, oh, oh my gosh, you, I want to do that. Oh fucking a, it. yes. I want to do it. The guys over at uh, the TFTI podcast wanted me to do it with them, but it, you know it's, it's rough. rough. It is. It's, it's rough. Like Jared threw up. You drooled all over yourself. <laughs> I did. You couldn't. Yeah, you couldn't keep your saliva in your mouth. My saliva glands were going overdrive. It was just. It was gross. I feel like it should be the same heat that has like y'all did the roulette challenge, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The Reaper, I feel like yeah. it should be the same. It is similar, except roulette challenge is like a little dab on an entire slice, and this is like a shit ton of like I guess the same type of thing, but in powder form, and covering the entire chip. So okay. it's like yeah. there's not a single getaway so bite on that chip. Okay. Yeah, I think the I think the roulette one. I mean, you get the bread, you get other stuff to kind of help yeah. soften yeah. the heat. Chip Whereas that, do yeah. Shit. yeah. <laughs> So, so what was the movie for movie for movie night? Um, there were several. Um, it was this one. I don't know the name of it. It's like a Dylan O'Brien movie. It was like post post apocalyptic, um, and like the animals were like zombies and like eating everybody. I don't know mm. the name of it though. It's it wasn't like the Maze Runner, was no, it? No, it wasn't. But if you like the Maze Runner, you'll like this movie. Hmm. Was it Zoolander Four? No. <laughs> Is it because it it, no. it has the word zoo in it? Right. I was just thinking of animals. Okay. Uh, Doctor, it was Zootopia. It was Doctor Doolitter. Doolitter. Doolittle. <laughs> Doctor Doolitter. <laughs> Doctor <Dr>. Doolitter. <laughs> uh, man, we watched uh, we watched uh, the new uh, Nicolas Cage movie, uh, Pig. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you have you all seen it? Yet? No, no, I want to. No, I heard about it's, it. It's it's really good. Um, I think he's making a comeback. Nicolas Cage. He's gonna. He's what, what's up? We get that off the table. I don't know what it's doing on the table. Who the fuck kept this on the table? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Chad left his uh, fucking butt plug here. <laughs> fucking sorry, guys. My bad. Oh my gosh. And it was extended and everything. I apologize. Heard. Yeah. So uh, no, it's a really good movie. If you hadn't seen it yet, uh, I, I have it. Definitely no. recommend checking out. It's on uh, on Hulu. No. Yeah, Hulu. I think it's on. Yeah, Hulu. Hulu. Very cool. So Jordan, tell us more about your weekend. Um, I went to I went bar hopping a little bit. I went mm-hmm. to Beard Lady. And with a boy, and ooh, um, ooh, la, la. <laughs> I see. ooh, then I went and we were gonna go to dinner at Sushi Axiom, but I guess because of the rodeo, everything was like so fucking. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I would. It was like I, a two-hour wait. So I stayed away uh, from all that. We just went to Kintaro, and <clears> then <throat> that's a good choice. They, yeah, it was so good. And then my friends went as a bar hop, but I was like not in the mood to drink. My stomach was a little fucked up from drinking earlier that week, and so I was like, no, guys, no. But like. My friend goes and she orders, it's just the two of us, and then she orders four shots immediately, so two for two. Oh my God. And then she's like, okay, let's do one more shot. She comes back with two more for each of us, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Uh, we ended up going to like um, 
Kung Fu and then we went to Backyard and I was like, I gotta go home, guys. Have you, um, at Kung Fu, have you gone into the peephole to see? Yeah, the porn. Yeah, the porn. Yeah. So what? cool. I love yeah. it. You've never done you that? You've never done that? Yeah. It says, like you know a, where like twerk is? It yeah. has like a peephole and it show porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? You, like yeah. old school, like 70s yeah. porn. Why though? Uh, just, just cause. Like yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's very cool. Like you look, it's thing. like you look in there. You're like oh, there are people having yeah, sex like, in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, oh my! Yeah. Um, yeah, that's cool. That sounds really good. I did hear about your little rant about sushi axiom. Did you get it this week? Did you? No, but the week is young, yeah, so is. maybe it's tomorrow. Sure. It's early. God damn, sushi does sound good. I told them I was like, God, a fucking hot dog sounds really good right now. You know what? I had a craving for a chili cheese dog. Ooh. So. That might happen. Damn. Nice. Yeah. But with the rodeo going, though, I mean, I would find a different sushi axiom, I think. Well, then you got to wait another two weeks. Yeah, then, another two gonna... weeks. Two Guys, weeks. you should go to the rodeo. <gasps> I'm down for that. I y'all, haven't been. Y'all can go. Why? You'll be working. I'm, right. I, I've been way too many times already. Do you have free tickets for me? No. Come on, Not, bro. I didn't get them this year. Oh, I got them one year, for, one year and we went. But uh, uh, the rodeo is actually pretty cool. It, uh, they're doing a bracket style, so similar like the like the Final Four type yeah. thing. So every night is people trying to compete to get to that that final stage <laughs> but they're giving out like every night so far people walked away with like like the number one contestant each each thing is like walked away with like sixteen seventeen hundred dollars oh shit so this uh going to the rodeo like have you watched yellowstone no you need to watch it i it's heard it's really good very fucking good Hold like on. it got me into like the cowboy lifestyle all right cowboy life or cowboy butts cowboy but, about? but cowboy butts drive me nuts yeah Broke back mountain yes have you seen that movie? No. You should watch it. It's a very heartbreaking love story. Hey, let it's, me a- let me ask you this: Do you like uh, like bigger guys or like small wiry guys? Honestly, I could say I like one, but I go for everything. Okay, that sounds bad. So <laughs> <laughs> then the rodeo is the place for you because. All well, your, let me tell you, all the your, rodeos where you want to go. All your bull, all your, all your, all your, if I can speak, all the bull riders are really small guys for the most part. Yeah. Like, and it's funny, you think they'd be like big dudes, right? Uh, but they're all small guys. And then. So the, they all don't look like Kevin Costner? No. Listen. And, and then they got the guys that are doing like the, like, uh, steer wrestling and stuff like that. And those are like the guys that are like 6'4, six, 6'5, six, and like 225, stuff like that. So big dudes. So you've got, a, you've got a good spectrum. I know you got a guy. That you're that you're seeing, but if you want to go to ra- rodeo and get some eye candy, you've got a, you've I got a good you've got a good spectrum there. That's Listen, why Tim this, has been working there so much. Yeah, the eye candy. There's this Nicholas Sparks movie. Sorry guys, it's about this cowboy, and I can't think of the name. The of The Last it. Ride. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fell in love. With I've never seen that movie, but you you it's know, so good. This one, Miley Cyrus, right? No. Are you sure? Oh no! It's the it's longest ride. The longest ride. And oh, it are has, you sure? Uh, I think she means the longest yard. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Sandler, have you seen that yeah. piece of man candy right there? <laughs> I think the only movie he's ever been in was Click, right? Click. Yeah, that's yeah. the only Adam Sandler Click. movie there is. Yeah, Click. that's the only one. Click. Click. I Click. do love Click. Are you being sarcastic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, right? <laughs> I mean, you're like, what kind of idiot are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what did you guys do this weekend? <laughs> was that was, was that your the end of your weekend? That was what would you do on Sunday? Um, it was on, Sunday was bar hopping. No, on Sunday I I think you need to tighten. I your had thing left up. my cookies at my boy's house, and so I went. Hey-o. I went to go pick my. <laughs> no, that sounds. <laughs> that wasn't like shout a out to the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boy. Hello, Goodbye, boy. Goodbye, cookies. <laughs> Is this code? Was is, is cookies code for something? No, they were actual cookies. I was like, I got my cookie, right. and uh, you know, <laughs> you nasty girl. <laughs> She's not gonna be able to get through a single fucking sentence on this show. No, ma'am. This is bad. I'm sweating. Oh my god, she's sweating. Her I'm eyes are. Her glasses are fucking up. Oh my god. It's I hot can't. in here. It's hot in here. I went and picked up my cookies, mm-hmm. and then I came home. Mm-hmm. I got on my couch and I watched TV all day. Okay, that was it. I actually was watching Gossip Girl, the original one. Yeah. Oh, really? I was like, let me just binge this. <laughs> what episode were you watching? I started from the first season. Oh my god. Yeah. How heavy? I mean, like, I I I did that before the new season started. 
for the new oh, series because yeah. I just wanted to see like if I'd pick up on any like Easter eggs. But yeah, I like going back and rewatching like the first the first scene is seeing um, uh, Serena or Dan in in the in the train station. Yeah, whenever Serena comes yeah. back. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh my god, so so iconic, so nostalgic. I know. Oh we need god. to go to New York and do like the Gossip Girl trip. Oh, I'd lo- I fucking love that. Yeah. Oh my my yeah. ex got me into um, Gossip Girl. And it just like I got the one I have now into Gossip Girl. Also, same thing. She just goes back and rewatches it. And I mean, you watched the new. The I watched new the new series. one. Yeah. yeah, I like the new one. Did you Did finish? You, you don't fucking. Oh watch no, it. I don't watch it. No, Jesse does though, right? Jesse watches it. She, not the not the old one. She watched the new one. Yeah. Did, yeah. You, you, you finished the new one, right? Yeah. I think she watched the new one. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. it was the old one. Ooh, Monet's mom I can't though. Remember. Oh my god. Holy yeah. fuck. She's yeah. she's the epitome of power. Uh, Jesse's watching. Uh, she she started watching Smallville. Oh fuck! All those out of though. out of nowhere. Is uh, that the Superman one? Yeah. yeah. So that was I walked in. And that's on. I'm like, what the fuck's happening here? She's like, listen, I left something on. It, it kicked off and then started playing this. And so we she's watching. Yeah, she's watching Smallville. So um, we started watching. We start watching Pornhub. No videos. So we stopped watching. So we stopped watching uh, Cheers. Oh. And I'm about to start. We're going to start it all over again. Start watching, like trying to watch it through there. And then we're about to start watching uh, Friends again from the beginning. It's a very nice. old man thing to say. We just started rewatching Cheers. Yeah. Well, all right. So we we, <laughs> we tried to start it, and we, and we got halfway through it, and then Netflix cut, cut it off. We didn't have Hulu at the time, mm-hmm. and so we forgot everything about. You said in your yet. Netflix bill when they cut it off. No, no, no. They 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 just they just removed it from Netflix. Uh, yeah, they pulled it up from Netflix. Jordan, do you think there's too many streaming services? Yes, because like, I like I pay for Hulu. I got Disney. I got Amazon. I got Netflix. You gotta have like what HBO Peacock Max. now. And- yeah. You know what's funny as shit is that's what people wanted for the longest time. Everyone like five, six, seven, eight years Cut ago the cord. always said no. Before that, before even like Netflix was I so pick my prominent. Own that, yeah, I want to pick my own channels. Like I want like a uh, what would they say? Like I just want to pick. You know, if I just want to watch C these or whatever. I, yeah, I don't want to watch half these channels. Fuck that. Everything is like seven to fifteen dollars, and when you get them individually, all of a sudden you're paying the same one hundred and fifty dollars you were for everything before. It's ridiculous. It, it is wouldn't crazy. be bad if like I have Hulu Live TV and like they just increase the price. So yeah. when they increase it, they gave you ESPN and Disney Plus. Like that wouldn't be so bad if like they bundled it all. But yeah. like, I don't want to. Well, then you're just, then you're just back to having a cable company. True. Yeah. So what's the point? Damn. Well, I mean, I guess the um, jokes on us. Accessibility yeah. of like being able to be somewhere and like stream it on your device. Oh, yeah. Boy, do like, I have uh, egg on my face. Like, uh, well, <laughs> egg or jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Direct TV does that now. You have Direct TV now, so yeah, you could stream. I mean, the same stuff you've got anywhere. So. Uh, and that comes with well, they, your well, they, package. They do have restrictions on like sports, like yeah, your uh, teams. Like if you wanted to watch the stars, you can't. They have no Bally. Yeah. They don't have Bally uh, sports on Hulu Live. And they, I mean, I would only watch it for the Mavericks. Because Bally's got their own streaming service, right? Bally used to be um, Forts, Fo- Fox Forts, S- uh, South- Fox Sports Southwest. Yeah. Spots Forks. Spots Forks Forks. For, yeah, but uh, Sports Fest. <laughs> now I don't know where the fuck I got to find some other goddamn streaming service to be able to watch those games. Yeah. Unless they're like nationally televised games on ESPN or TNT. Rarely. All right. Yeah. Let's let's wrap this up. Oh, right? sorry. We've sorry. been talking way too much about TV services. Not enough about what we did this weekend. <laughs> Tim, what did you do? If it wasn't if it wasn't TV. Uh, I've been at the stock show and rodeo. OK, cool. Uh, still working. Yeah, still working. Last weekend doing it, though, right? Yeah, so I've got um, <coughs> Thursday, I've got jury duty Friday, Hey-o. lame, and then uh, back at it uh, on Sunday, and then Sunday's Sunday's the last day for me. I can already tell you they're not going to choose you. Like yeah. I can't see yeah. anyone saying no. This is the guy I want on my jury. They might though, because uh, he seems like he's rational. You know? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> see, that's where you fucked up. I've got her fooled. <laughs> Yeah. He has like the rational appearance. Um, you know? So that mustache, the mustache, <laughs> mustache. The mustache alone is gonna give me give me uh, not pick. Uh, no, so the problem is, all right, I don't know if y'all have had to do like the jury selection stuff recently. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Like recently. Yeah, like, like, I was during, years ago. During COVID. Like last know. year. Last year I was. Okay. So it asks you have like now it's asking you, have you been around or exposed with you know with COVID? And I'm like, oh, my job. Yeah. I mean, we have COVID positive patients all the time. That's just kind of what it is. And they ask you to like the describe like what you mean, like you've been exposed. And so I did. And then I get an email back saying, yeah, you still got to come in. I'm like, so why even ask that question? (laughs) What's the point? Yeah. 
So I'll find out Thursday <laughs> officially. But it's at the at the Tim the Tim whatever not Tim uh, something Curry Tim Love I don't know Tim Curry Tim yeah. Curry yep yeah. uh, the guy who played <laughs> it <laughs> Tim Curry Courthouse. <laughs> Big deal here. It's, a, uh, <laughs> it's whatever the, the the criminal justice center. So it's actually like it's going to be a criminal. Like it's for criminal court. So right, okay. and not like some civil court or something like that. So. Cool. I, I hope you get chosen. I only... hope you get chosen. It's like a murder case. Right. Oh, cool. Well, I won't be, be able to so talk awesome. about it. Well, you, for a couple of weeks. Or you know, no, it could be like months after the case. Right. Maybe I don't know, but it could go on for months. You no, know, you know? the, the good thing is he wouldn't be here. Imagine yeah, they that. would. They would. They would. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. It'd be amazing. Oh, it'd be yeah. amazing. They would lock me up. Um, Perjury. And, yes. <laughs> no, they put me into a hotel. I would get a hotel room. Put this man in contempt. Put this get man up. in butt prison. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I went to jury duty one time and I got chosen. And I was like, well, if I'm at, if I'm at, if I'm stuck here, and it was a two day deal because it was like a sexual assault something or other. Ooh. I was there for two days and I was like, well, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And so like. I was elected the the head juror. Yeah, you would do that. You look like that. <laughs> I was like, I just if I'm going to be stuck here for two days, I want to be the one that stands up with the paper, go, "We the jury." This honky seems like he can leave. Did you say it just like that? <laughs> yeah, we the jury. No, the I judge did. says that what? you <laughs> fucking moron. No, he didn't. We, I got to say it. I, I, I he said, the he said jury, what you. say you? And it's like, well, we the jury. No, but did you, you do read. it in an accent though? Yeah, of course I did. We the jury. There was this old guy, and he's like, "You you really want to do this?" I'm like, I don't know. It sounds like fun. You're like, it's my civic duty. <laughs> I was born for this. It sounds like, it sounds like something I should do. On the group chat. Is like, it all like prison? Butt prison? Oh, oh sorry. Uh, prison, butt prison. No, no, no. I, I, I'll speak on this one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let Tim speak on the question. Again, the question is, isn't all prison butt prison? So, like, federal, some federal prisons are, like, very minimum security, and I, I don't imagine those being butt prisons. Is it, like, finger bang in prison? It, it could be. Okay. It if could it's be, like... minimum security, I feel like there would be more butt action. Right? Yeah. Yes. But less, like, bad offenders, though, that want to do the... Like, less she bangs, more he bangs. You know what I mean? Maybe. Are we talking about Ricky Martin right now? Yes. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes. Jesus Christ! I didn't do anything this weekend. All right, let's move on. All right. <laughs> you had to do oh something. yeah, we had hot pot and uh, went to the Asian market over there off of uh, in Grand Prairie. Yeah, the pictures you sent looked amazing. Oh fucking a man! That place is nuts. Like they have all kinds of crazy foods and <clears throat> at the Asian market or at the Asian yeah. market. And um, but I mean, it's like like you had the um, weird snacks last week. We yeah, yeah. saw those everywhere over there. We picked some up and. They had oh, weird snacks over there? Yeah. So I could just go to the Asian market and get the weird they snacks? Had the oh, Korean, yeah. They had the Korean shrimp snacks. They, they had everything were, over there, man. Yeah. That place is awesome. It's pretty cool, man. I've been there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, intern, it's time for you to see if this camera works and tell us what you did this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> so uh, I survived COVID. <laughs> Into the microphone, intern. You survived COVID? I survived COVID. We see that. Thank That's you good. for here. being back. Um. Oh, we went to Fossil Rim. Oh have, yeah, have y'all been there? Yes. When I was younger, I, Kate, your so your wife hey, don't, sent don't us the intern. <laughs> your wife sent us video of your scared ass with the emu in the window. Oh yeah, I, I have a new fear. <laughs> so the, it doesn't take much to, for Stark to get new fears. You were there for the yeah, kids, so and the you end up just <laughs> and now emus. Oh. He was going to, like, peck my eyes he out. He was, like, six feet away from the car. No, he was flipping. right there. He was, like, coming towards me Ooh, and had gross. these beady eyes. Hey, we had we had a we had a teacher that had emus. You remember? Yeah, Miss Edmondson. Even know what an emu is. It's, it's like, like an a ostrich, ostrich, but smaller. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Miss Edmondson yeah. had them, and it, it's a dinosaur. Like yeah, essentially, ancestor. <laughs> they run like dino. They're dinosaurs. Yeah. What? Well, welcome back. We're glad you're back, except for all the technical difficulties. But we'll figure it out. I tried. All right. Click Asia Asia Times Square. That's what it was. Asia Times Square over there okay. off of uh, Pioneer Parkway. Yeah, didn't yeah. even know it was a thing. Very like the the best boba, the best snacks. Like they have like at the boba shops have like this like crazy waffle looking thing. It's a waffle, but it's like avocado in there too. Okay, that shit is bomb. It's like fucking delicious. I love that shit. Props to Asian Ta Asian Times Square. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. They had a little dragon show and it was all like. It was Asian New Year. It was a Chinese New Year. So. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that'd be fun Good stuff. Yeah, that was our that was our weekend. She wanted to go to the fucking Six Flags. Who the fuck goes? Oh, the Six Flags is open. Like, who the fuck is gonna go? And there was people over there. So I guess it's no. I'm no. not. I'm not really into theme parks anymore. I'm like, we're about to go eat a lot of food. We're not gonna go to a fucking and, theme park yeah, but, after. But Tammy loves. She loves those rides. Yeah, she does. Like she lives for that. 
as broken as she is, her knees all messed up and everything. <laughs> Both knees. Yeah. She wants to get on like the ride that's going to throw them around. And oh, like, yeah, yeah. The Texas State Fair. I was like, how the hell do you know? Yeah. Texas State yeah. Fair. She was all about it. Did you Did you go to that? Did you go to the State Fair whenever it was going on? Yeah. I went. I what rode a couple rides. Yeah. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> no, I went with my friend and her kids, and so I was going. She doesn't like those rides; she gets really sick. So I was going on the rides with the kids, and there, we did the one like that's like anti gravity, where you're like on that little thing. Oh, I love yeah. that! It spins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh no, oh, I like no. that thing. And the the kids were just, like small, so I was like, oh my gosh, they're like, gonna die. Yeah. You feel like you're lifting off the ground <laughs> yeah. a little bit. You're like, oh, yeah, it's pretty neat. You know, and then it just suddenly stops. The kid goes flying off. You that's know, why, that's, that's a whole what I was picturing. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. Um, you should come though. Whenever we uh, next time we go to Asia, it's a full, Asia it's a full final destination. Thing. You, I mean, if you like, do you like hot pot? Have you had hot pot before? I don't know what that is. It's where you get the the raw meat and put it in the broth and it cooks the meat. And well, I don't like raw meat, so no, you cook I mean, it. You cook yeah, it. I don't like the... touching it. Oh wait, really? So, like, do you it's like separate? Tongs. It's, you have tongs. Okay. Yeah. You don't yeah. like I mean, grab. You don't it. grab raw yeah, meat. No, and throw yeah. it in there. <laughs> that's just not that's a no. That's a no. I will go, but I'll be like, guys, can you that's, a, that's a maybe. Can she'll, she'll, someone yeah. else can see how someone, easy it is. Can someone cook this for me? Yes, yeah. yes, please. I meant to bring you guys some Kit Kats though, because I got uh, Japan Kit Kat, Japanese oh, cool. Kit Kats. Oh. I don't know the proper way to say that, but I meant to bring you guys some, and I forgot. So sorry. What's special oh. about those? They're from Japan. Oh, you okay. dumb, dumb. <laughs> I mean, they still taste like just regular. No, Kit they Kats, don't. So. They're okay. like different flavors. Like one was like a salt sea salt one, not Ooh. sea salt. Yeah, sea salt one. One was like a strawberries and cream. Green tea. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. have like a matcha one. Good. I have like twenty different flavors. God damn, so. that sounds delicious. Nice. I'll remember. Why couldn't you bring time. one of those, Tim? You suck. <laughs> they didn't. I ordered it from. They didn't offer they it, didn't have it. Shut up. <laughs> I hate okay. you. Well, me uh, on this weekend. <laughs> oh God. An hour. I was going to say. I thought we started at eight. It's been an hour. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, so because of the promotion that we talked about last week, Tab took me to Grace. Uh, oh, yeah, never yeah. been to Grace. I had to go back and listen to the episode with Chris Reel on um, because he talked about his perfect Sunday, and part of that was going to Grace. Man, that place was good. Yeah, I could not believe how delicious. It's have pricey. You have you been to Grace? Yeah, I told you about it. It was really expensive. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, it was it's, good. It's yeah, it's really it's fucking delicious. If you like sides, the sides are fucking bomb. Yeah, we had <laughs> ask um, Sailor next time. Say, hey, take me to Grace. We had lamb dumplings, okay, to start, which were really, really good. And then I had the fillet. She had the scallops, which was kind of like just split everything, right? And then there was the Brussels sprouts, which yeah. were amazing. They had like shaved almonds, and then this like, um, um, what do you call it? The balsamic vinegar, I think, glaze or something like that. Dude, that place was amazing. And the cocktail I had, it was like this coffee old fashioned, cold pressed, yeah, something old fashioned. It was. Well, really I'd go good. for that. Yeah. It was great. Otherwise, didn't really do a whole lot this weekend. Um, it was pretty chill. I tried not to drink because we drank so fucking Last much weekend, yeah. the, the previous weekend. And then I went Ooh. to ski and drink a lot out there. So I just tried to take know, it easy. Got about there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So, yeah. That's all. all. Right. So we want to jump into uh... sports. Sports. And now, action sports with Javier. Sports happened this weekend. Sports. Everyone, hooray. Sport. Well, Jordan, are you all right? I think she's going to die. I had like the burps from the This is the first, oh my God. <laughs> the first guest that's died on the show. Congrats to us. Yeah, congrats to us. Right? This weekend, the NFL divisional rounds were going on, and as per usual, each were explosively exciting. Every game decided in the last play of the game or in overtime, happening in the first play. Start with the Bengals and the Titans. Number one seeded Titans lost against the up and coming Bengals, nineteen to sixteen. Led by the Bengals, the Bengals, the Bengals, led by Big Dick Joe, Joey B, Joey Joe Burrow, led the team. Of course, their line sucks, but you know, let's talk about the the good things. Did a great job. To see big things for him playing in the NFC in the AFC Championship next week uh, against the Kansas City Chiefs. Have you heard about the Chiefs or like what's going on with like? Um, what's his name? Uh, Patrick Mahomes is his brother. Everybody his brother him. and his wife is like an, are like annoying. Yeah, they like, very much are. Him, yeah, because yeah, of the, the the brother because of his stupid fucking TikToks. Yeah, and the wife because she's equally as annoying. They yeah. have TikToks. Fiance, yeah. Fiance. He's not married yeah. yet. Yeah, he needs to drop that shit. He needs to drop her. Yeah, yeah. Both of them, like the brother and the the yeah. fiance. I mean, she's fine, but I mean, back to sports. Back to sports. 
That's a part of the sports world. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Uh, the Niners beat the Packers shockingly in the final play also with a field goal. Last second field goal, 13-10. Yep. Uh, to 10. They're going to go against the Rams, who defeated the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers 30-27, to 27, which might have been Tom Brady's final game nah. in the NFL. He did talk about today um, um, being selfish, and he didn't want to be selfish anymore towards his wife and their kids that are growing up, mm-hmm. um, which is a great reason. It's understandable. He has seven um, Super Bowl rings, and he has averaged um, a Super Bowl for half of his career. Um, but if it was his last game, he did go out with a bang. He did march the um, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, to a win. They tied up in the last 40, 40 seconds of the game. Unfortunately, gave uh, Matt Stafford too much time with the Rams. Another walk-off field goal. Another walk-off win. Yeah. Um, but again, um, I'm going to say this. Uh, I'm really glad that uh, the Rams won because Matt Stafford had been with the Lions for about 13 years. Shitty team. Um and now his first year with the Rams, he's going to be in the NFC, NFC Championship. So um, it's going to be good seeing um, them defeat the 49ers to make it to the Super Bowl. I'm already going to call it. So Who? Uh, Matt Stafford. He's going to win? He's going to fucking win. Okay. The Rams are going to fucking win. So, so it's going to be Rams and who? It's going to be Rams and, if I'm being real, it's going to be the Rams and the Chiefs. Yeah, but you want it to be the Rams I do and Rams. Bengals. I do want to see Rams Same. and Bengals. Me yeah. too. Yeah. I'm going with, with Chad. Yeah, you want yeah. to be Rams and Bengals? Yeah, I, I, underdog. Yeah, I think that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, every every team every uh, team that I wanted to win won, except for Kansas City. I would have loved to see uh, them go down, but it was a really good game to watch. Someone it was went down, crazy. Yeah, they were all ridiculous. It was crazy. Well, I mean, especially the Kansas City game, just like how the points were just back and forth. Like all of those points in the last what, like quarter or whatever, or yeah. even half the last quarter. It was nuts. It was a fun game to watch for sure. Jordan, did the Stars play this weekend? They did. Uh-huh, I should have warned. So how did they do? <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> the stars played. Guys, my memory is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was Jordan, our correspondence for the stars. <laughs> thank you, for, thank you, Jordan. She's been drinking a lot of White Claws, which is why we're drinking White Claws tonight. <laughs> Uh, y'all are drinking White Claw. This episode brought to you by White Claw. And Elijah Craig. Get in and, my mouth. And butt prisons. <laughs> butt presents? Prisons. Or butt prisons. Butt prisons. Butt prisons. Butt prisons. Butt prisons. So is, prison. is that all you got for sports? That's all I got for sports. And that was Action Sports with Javier. Hooray, sports! Thank you, Javier. Eat me, bitch. <laughs> God. Good job. Thank you. Come on. I've been getting decent. a lot more. I, I've been getting a lot decent. better with my sports. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. You, you really sounded like you knew what you were talking about. I <laughs> almost did. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, baby. I, yeah, I was we're trying to watch the, the Rams and Buccaneers game at the hot pot. And I'm like, can you please change it? And she's like, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. And now it's time for news with Tim. Take it away, Tim. Thank you, Chad. Uh, so, we know about the uh, Ellis Pecan factory, right? Oh, the Klan oh, factory here in, here in Fort Worth? Yeah. yeah. So, it used to be a Ku Klux Klan clavern right. or hall or whatever. Right. Um, historic building on <laughs> on in Fort Worth. Right. And it's now being taken over. Uh, By the Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, the Mexican, ma- the, the Mexican mafia is taking over, That's ladies and gentlemen. That's the way to gentlemen. take over. <laughs> Javier, you're wrong. Uh, it's now a group of uh, it's now a group of arts and racial justice organiza- organizations have bought the building to turn it into a site of healing. Oh, that's okay. good. Cool. So it's gonna be like a yeah, it's gonna be an art building. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm, yeah. I'm really glad that something positive is me right. made yeah, out of yeah, it yeah. because I love that building. It's like s- such a beautiful, like historic looking building. You would. It just su- no stop. I knew I should have fucking said anything. <laughs> it just sucks what had been there right. before, right? But I'm glad that something good and positive so is happening um, there now. It's, it's transformed. Uh, 1012 North Main Street is the company. Yeah. And, and and basically what they said is that they plan to turn into a performance space with resources for those uh, that the Klan uh, work to oppress. The group envisions arts tra- or arts training services for LGBTQ plus uh, youth civil rights exhibits and affordable workspace for artists. So pretty cool. Did um, you know about that Klan building, Jordan? No. I don't even know what building you're talking about. Uh, do you ever go down... Down it's north, over by the I Coyote don't know Drive In, Coyote okay. Drive In, and, and Joe T's kind of over the okay. direction. Okay. There's like this oh, huge sense. brick building. It's just <laughs> yeah. ginormous. Yeah, yeah. So it was like uh, at one point it was that, and at another point it was a like <clears throat> dance hall, and then it became the Ellis Pecan Factory. Yeah, it's been multiple things. Yeah. It wasn't just one no, bad thing, but it was originally built 
right. for that. Yeah, right. Uh, but it's being turned into something positive. They they wanted to tear it down, but there was like the historic society society was like, no. It, I mean, it's a very historical building, but on the other side of it, it'd be like. Maybe we should tear it down, but this is this is really fitting. Like the I think. perfect, yeah, the perfect fit for something like that, especially because there's about to be so much money poured into that area. Because didn't the uh, Panther City project, or the whatever? Army Corps of Engineers, approved four hundred and three million dollars? Yeah. yeah, to uh, finish their river project. So after all these years, that project is actually going to get started, and so it would be nice to have not only new buildings there, but some nice historic buildings for some like this brand new area in Fort Worth. I really applaud how much you guys know about Fort Worth. <laughs> <laughs> She's Thank like, you. I know where the bars are and Seventh Street yes. and everything else. Just go, go away. So, so like Jordan, growing up, like um, you're, not you're, wrong. you're gonna be thirty. <clears throat> yeah, you're gonna be thirty. I am. I'm sorry to announce that. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, <laughs> why, bro? What if she didn't want everyone to know? But, but like, I, li- I like the way like I, I go back and look at Seventh Street. Like we we grew up coming up with Seventh Street, and now with this other stuff, there's gonna, there's gonna be like more restaurants and bars, and like you're gonna be young enough to be like, well, fuck, I'm gonna go party over there. And we're going to be like, God damn, I remember making fun of the old people going to like a library. Oh, yeah. And now we're the old fu- fucking old people. And you're still a goddamn youngin. So I, I mean, I, that's why I'm around you guys. I keep you up. <laughs> yeah. She's not wrong. But, but I, I'm, I'm excited for that because I, I want to see like the new stuff, the new right, bars, yeah, like, yeah. the way they have it set up. If you've seen the blueprints, yeah. like they have a port going on. And, and, and whenever I see that port, it reminds me of like, um, you know, like Obi's family and Gossip Girl. Like they own that, like oh, yeah. uh, that fucking port like out there where um, I, I forgot what it's called. But um, that fucking place is beautiful. Like the way they have that set up. So I'm excited to see if they're going to do that with with what. The money they're they're getting for it, but I, I can't wait to see it. It's very exciting. I know it's a, a shit ton of money, and I know there's been a lot of controversy behind it. But if it actually happened, with the kind of growth that our city's had over the past 5, 10, 15, 20 years, right? Like, this is something that we kind of desperately need is a new area um, just because we are, we're we're just going to continue to grow out. Now, Fort Worth square, square mileage or whatever, like the size of our city is ginormous. But like where the city, city center is, there's like not a whole lot – more that we can do. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? Like it's so grown out already. Right. We've already taken over South Main, Magnolia, Seventh Street. Um, everything's kind of already blown up that that just needs to be revitalized really bad. Oh yeah. I agree. I mean, I, I, I am kind of opposed to like the gentrification of like, um, like Latino neighborhoods. Like, yeah. Like with, my neighborhood. Like, like, yeah. For like, for like for real, for real. I mean like the river Oaks area, uh, the river area is being taken over. Dude, it, like, my taxes have down. jumped up. Um, there's a whole bunch of new people. I mean, it's good because if I want to sell my house and I'm, I'm going to make good money on it. Yeah. But on the flip side, like I don't want to pay more in taxes. Um, I've got more traffic now over on white settlement that I have to deal with, with all the apartments going up. They put, so they've got on one side of where I live, there is million plus dollar homes. On another side, there's five hundred thousand dollar plus homes, and then they've got all these cool, fancy apartments and stuff. And I live in like this, like like we. It was called the Bottoms. It's like the. It's where like if it floods, it's gonna flood that area. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, it's all being gentrified now. I was in there before gentrification, so. Well, second, I feel like, like uh, I feel like I deserve to be there. Like the Hemp Hill area is starting to like, they're starting to take over that too, right. and so they're 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 overpricing. Um, like lots and stuff. Right, like right, right. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Property tax is going to be increasing yeah. and it's going to move all the, the, the locals out. So that's the one thing I don't like. So uh, just moving moving forward from this topic. Um, so best Fort Worth Valentine, uh, Valentine's uh, Day, like place at restaurants to celebrate uh, Valentine's Day, or as Javier likes to say, Valentine's. Valentine's. Because uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. It's just right around the corner. Oh, Ooh. shit. Isn't that when we had Kate on? Was around Valentine's? I'm pretty sure that is. It, it might have been. It was. Yeah, because it was like Valentine's. Because that was part of the name. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's almost been a year since almost we had been your a wife year. on the show. So I'm going to go through just a few uh, few restaurants on here. Oh, and I want to see like if Jordan's been there or not. Let me. Let me. Okay. Uh, 97 West, which is uh, Stockyards Hotel, Hotel Drovers uh, Restaurant. Um, they've got a fixed menu, which is going to be 135 dollars per person. God damn. Jeez yeah. Louise. Um, going to come with condoms or something? Better. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, no, they're going to give Plan B pills to everybody. Might as well. Fuck. Yeah. I like to know who's fucking me whenever I'm eating my dinner. <laughs> Blue Mesa Grill. Would that be a good place to take someone on Valentine's it's Day? Basic. That's kind of what I feel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Brio. 
uh, Italian Grill, which I don't. I've never heard of that place. Okay, Me Where, where's that at? I don't. Uh, it, it doesn't say. Where is it? It's Tell here. Us for, more. It's here in Fort Worth. Uh, their special entrees include Parmesan crusted ch- uh, uh, Chilean cheese, <laughs> cheese, <laughs> Chilean Parmesan and crusted cheese, cheese. <laughs> Chilean That's sea bass. Spanish for titties. <laughs> Uh, Thanks up here. Parmesan crusted beef medallions, thirty two to thirty four dollars. So it's more affordable. Uh, Buca de Beppo. <laughs> Buca de Beppo. <laughs> Buca de Beppo. Literally a real place. Yeah, I've shut heard. Up. I've heard of that, but I've never been. <laughs> Buca de Beppo. Yeah, it's over. Uh, Buca de Beppo. Yeah, it's over in uh, Buca, yeah, you Buca de Beppo. You uncultured swine. <laughs> I feel even if I try, I'm gonna screw it up and then feel like I'm saying something like I shouldn't. Uh, Busa de Beppo. <laughs> No, it's a bu- 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 like bussy? a robot. Bussy, bussy, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's bussy, bussy de Beppo. It's over in uh, I think that's over in South Lake. Bussy de Beppo place is pretty good. Uh, Caraba's Italian Grill. I feel like that's really basic. Yeah, that is. There's only like one of them. I feel like in existence. Yeah, yeah. isn't that like macaroni grill? Yeah. Essentially, uh, Fort Worth Zoo. No, they're doing a. a- <laughs> They're doing a, a Galentine's party. It takes place at seven to nine thirty uh, p.m. February tenth, and features uh, heavy uh, hors d'oeuvres, uh, an open bar, and dessert buffet. Eighty five dollars a person, and a performance by Nelly. February eleventh and twelfth. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna bring his band aid. Uh, La Onda. Oh yeah. Uh, so they they're on there. Uh, Logan, that place is great. Logan's Roadhouse. They, you know. <laughs> just hold on. Right. Just just shut the fuck up. Okay. With the Logan's thing. We need to go to La Onda, like the the rest yeah. of us. No, I agree. You, I just, it's on um, Race Street, right? River, yeah, like the was it River uh, River East River District or River East. River, River, River East. East. That's yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know why. We gotta go party over there. You, you gotta hang out with us know, more, Jordan. There's you, a place called. Do you know where Top Golf is? <laughs> it's by Top Golf. Okay. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's there's a place called the Post. Have you been to the Post for music or anything? God. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, Logan's Roadhouse is on this made this made this list. This oh, is just, and this is fourth culture map, by the way. Um uh Magdalena's. Okay. Ooh, that, yeah, that, I club. think that yeah, that I deserves want to go there there. so so bad. Same. I tried to make a reservation during COVID and it, it, then we got COVID, so yeah. I had to cancel. Uh, Par- like, let's uh, eat uh, just gone over there. Yeah, Perry's actually, uh, steakhouse and grills on there as well. She wants that to be one of the places we go oh, together yes. when before she comes on the show, yeah. which yes, please. Yeah. Magdalena's? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I'm good with that. Uh, Perry Steakhouse and Grill, uh, Silver Fox, uh, 38 and Vine. I haven't been there yet. Uh, I can see why because it's really expensive. Um, the, the Foundry District. Have you been there? Thirty. Uh, have you been over there, 38 and Vine? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's, okay. it's got the patio the wine and the wine place, right? Yeah. Where you like pay per pour or something like that. And then like the machine, you pay... However much ounces you have, or something. like So one hundred and fifty dollars per person for that one. How do you how do you feel about this, Jordan? After we're done here, we'll go to. Are we getting drunk? We're getting drunk. Okay. We can go to. I'm not. We can either go to Rabbit Hole. We can go to Tulips, and have some drinks. Look, what's in the middle of a thing? I'm oh, not. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Are we still doing news? Yeah, we got we got one more thing. <laughs> sorry, Chief. <laughs> Just go ahead and mute that. All right, so Javier's been muted now. Hey, <laughs> All right, he's back on. Okay, um, so just to wrap everything up, uh, and, and I kind of touched on Jordan with this earlier. Um, don't, don't touch don't Jordan. Touch Jordan. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so have you guys heard about the feud between Taylor Swift and uh, Damon Albarn of Yes. You know who Damon Albarn is? I don't yeah, know the, who Damon Albarn the is. The lead singer of uh, Blur. Blur and the Gorillas. Oh no! Shit. Several yeah. other things, yeah. yeah. So, oh, I didn't know the gorillas part. Yeah, so I just found that out. He's done a bunch cool. of different things, um, like penises. Yes. So his whole thing is, he came out saying that Taylor doesn't like knock her for not writing her own songs, okay. and says she, co-writing doesn't count. <clears throat> and so it sparked this whole feud. And and one of the things that people are saying is like, Damon is just he he's just pretentious. He's just being pretentious about yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, everybody co-writes. There's not. I don't know any single artist that doesn't co-write because co-writing, in my opinion, consists of like, I might not have a melody. My guitar player comes up with a melody. I come up with lyrics or whatever. And so it's all co-writing, well, right? It comes up with a better product. Um, honestly, yeah, yeah, like, I think w- so. when you write a book, you don't have, you don't just put it out there for everyone to see. You have like editors, you have like people proofreading and double checking shit. Dustin Massey, when he was on, right. The show this last time, right. he was talking about how he had written a song and he enjoyed it, but there was something missing. And then uh, I can't remember who helped him kind of like tweak the chorus, but now it's like the, his, one of awesome his best. Church, I don't remember exactly, but it was like one of, 
it just made for a better right. song. So why the hell not? Like, who gives a shit? Yeah, fuck that guy. I mean, so, I like his music, but fuck that guy. Um, what do you think about Taylor Swift? You know, I was a fan. I like her music, but her personally, I could care less for. Yeah, she sure. like she feels. I feel like she just has a problem with everybody. She does. She I, just like cries. I mean, I just don't. I mean, I understand like some songs of hers that like bash like the guys she dated. Yeah. But every fucking song. Yeah. Like what? What makes you up to be the fucking victim all the time? It's like yeah, that I don't like the victim Me mindset either. that she has. Like I'm just I like get over it. Like the whole Kanye shit. Like oh, I understood. Yeah. I understood to be upset about that. Yeah. Like I, I get it. Yeah. But like after that, like, dude. Chill the fuck out. Move on. Yeah, fucking move on. That's like her whole claim, I think, le- like yeah. lately. But it works for and her. I think what like really made me not be a fan of her was like the whole Scooter Braun thing. Whenever he me bought too. that other label and like he ended up getting like all her masters. Like it's business is business, girl. Yeah. Like, like if you fucking if it's your fault that you missed a chance to get yeah. your masters. If you're not on tune to, to buy that shit, yeah. this is your fucking fault. Like, what do you fucking do? Which, which even goes back to like her rewriting your shit. Yeah. It's going back to like shit on like Jake Gyllenhaal and yeah. John Mayer. Like, bro, chill the fuck out. Like, get your long, long fucking back ass. Like, <laughs> like she's a fucking long back. She ain't okay. got no ass. Long okay. Back ass. So let me just let me just tell you what. Okay. So she, after after Damon Damon comes out and, okay. and, and basically knocks her for not fucking long not back. writing right. Um, she tweets. And says, I was such a big fan of yours until I saw this. That's Swift a fucking lie. Thing. She fucking wasn't. I write all of my own songs. Your hot take is completely false and so damaging. You don't have to like my songs, but it's really fucked up to try and discredit my writing. She said fucked wow. up? She did. Good on her for yeah. actually using words. Fuck you. Exactly. She just fucking did that to... Ooh, Jordan. Or Jordan. Taylor's being so fierce yeah. right now. Oh, my God. So, God so damn. Damon finally, he, up, he, 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 he tweeted back. <laughs> And he said uh, he's issued an apology to Swift, blaming the Los Angeles Times for publishing clickbait. I totally agree with you. He told her I had a conversation about songwriting and sadly it was re- reduced to clickbait. I apologize uh, unservedly and unconditionally. The last thing I would want to do is discredit your songwriting. I hope you understand. Oh, good on him. I feel like because they were talking about it on the radio. Let me know if I'm getting this right or wrong, but he was more so making the comparison between like her songwriting and like Billie Eilish and her brother's songwriting. Right. He was giving praise to, like Billie and be like basically like like Billie deserves like more credit than she gets, and then like yeah. Taylor is like over credited. Right, but the thing is with Billie, Billie also co-writes with her brother. Right. So I mean, yeah, that whole thing. Uh, it, he just likes Billie Eilish more. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, basically. Um, I think she's Jay Cole, better. Yeah, she is absolutely 100. percent Yeah. Like say what? Billie Eilish is better than Taylor Swift. Yeah, and she. Yeah. I'm sure. Fuck, I saw her ACL. Holy fuck, she puts on the show. I bet. Fucking amazing. I would love to see her. And um, yeah, fuck Taylor Swift. Yeah, so he's got uh, so Damon Blur or Damon Damon Blur Damon Alburn. Uh, he was lead singer of Blur. Um, he gorillas. He had a solo career in side projects: The Good, The Bad, and The Queen. Uh, Rocket Juice in the Moon and some other projects. So funny, they call my penis Rocket Juice. No, mm-hmm. no one does. You were doing no so well. You did, yeah, you did so well. <laughs> Things were going so great, and then I just had to come you in. Open your stupid mouth. I had to come in. Gross. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's is that sports chat? I mean, Tim. That was sports news now with Tim and Javier with the sports news. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you, Chad. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, oh, so what was your screen name growing up? You're, what did you have a screen? Name? Candy Hottie T. Wait, candy what? Hottie T. Wait, what? Because my favorite candy is hot tamales. <laughs> oh my god! Seriously, no one likes was, hot tamales. It was yeah. Candy Hottie T. T. How'd you spell candy with an I or no, Y? No, Y. Okay, All right. eyes are for whores. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me! Running, that's hilarious. <laughs> what what was so the cool. T from? Tamale. Oh, yeah, you tam- moron! Hottie T. Yeah. Hottie t- Tamale. Okay, I'm with you. Okay, <laughs> that's so cool. Was you were you just an uh, an aim girl or did you use MSM also? Aim, nice. But I also did like Zanga. Ah, we all did. Yes. <laughs> oh, was we your did. Zanga the same? No, my Zanga. I got in trouble for my Zanga name actually. Oh my god! What <laughs> scandalous? Scandalous! Oh, shit. It sounds so bad, but it was X X <laughs> X X X X bitch X. It was X X hardcore. <laughs> Go on. XX prep XX. <laughs> XX hardcore XX. So prep, hardcore XX. prep with a whole lot of X's. Yeah. But essentially hardcore porn prep. 
preppy <laughs> hardcore porn is what yeah. you were doing. Oh my god! Yeah, huh. Did you ever get to like fights or arguments with your friends about who was in your top eight? That um, wasn't Zinga though. Now you're just so, hopping around. That was, not, my, that was my, that space, was my, my space. bad. Not really. No. No. I'd love to say If that. anyone like said something about it, but I'd be like, fine, I'm gonna do a top one then. Yeah. And no one's gonna be on there. God except for damn. Tom. You're one of the <laughs> 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 Yeah, I liked the HTML where you could actually add additional top people because I never knew who I was gonna put in there and everyone was so bitchy about it. So you just put everyone. Just it was like you had to have things. you had to have like <clears throat> Tom and then it was like whoever you were dating or like yeah, yeah. crushing on. Oh, I never and then put it was Tom in there. Friends. I Tom, didn't either. Tom was never I didn't. Involved. And 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 I think it's still like have you gone and checked it? Do you still have yours? No. I, I can't still find have mine it. open. Like mine's still there. It's no. your your MySpace. My MySpace, yeah. My top 8 is still the same. I'm like fuck it. Fuck that. Like I should have changed it. So from the chat, um Hervey said that Christie's screen name was Corn Girl with a K <laughs> as in Corn is Corn the band. Game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Porn girl. So I think um, she misspelled that to P to porn girl. Porn, XX corn girl porn girl XX corn porn sixty nine XX. Uh, do you remember your Do you remember your uh, Zenga name? Um, I'm pretty sure it was just Chad SPK. I've been sticking with that one for a while. I minute. think mine was like Bill Clinton 04. What, what the fuck, what? man? Why did you- or or Turd Ferguson? I'm, I can't remember. It was Turd Ferguson. It, yeah, it okay. definitely was. I can remember that now. Yeah, yeah it was Turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson. Mine was X99, Gorilla's 99. Turd Ferguson, funny name. So the same as your uh, aim. Yeah, same as my aim. Yeah. Yeah. You just stick with one screen name. No. Nah. Yeah. Stick with the one. You got a different one. It's like me when the, the password I use is the same for like the I can tell you what my years. MySpace was. Yeah. <laughs> what? Burning Lies. I wanted to I wanted to, I wanted to create a band called Burning Lies. What a fucking loser. Whatever happened to that? I had moving didn't go on. So what did you talk about <laughs> in your Zanga? Like what was what was the main topic in your Zanga page? I would just talk shit about my friends. Oh hell yeah! I would like it was like so a, was it like a burn it book. Was, n- yeah and no, I actually had a burn book. At, at. <laughs> of course you fucking did. <laughs> I went to private school. <laughs> you, of course you did. <laughs> you went to private school? Yeah, yeah. I went to Walfa. Chrissy says um, it was actually Corn Girl. G R L. G R L. G R L. But like I would like write. It was basically like a diary entry. I'd be like. Today, this person was a bitch. <laughs> Her boyfriend is a piece of shit. Like I would just like put all my friends' business out. Like, That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Did they knew? And they knew it was you. Yeah. They're just like, who the fuck is she talking about? No, I put I oh, put their knew. name. Oh they my knew. god. Yeah. You're yeah. Fucking, fucking ruthless. Yeah. I remember this one time. It was a snow day, and I was at my friend uh, my friend's house, and we were we went outside this play in the snow. We came back in. I wrote about it, named the friends, and then I started talking shit about another friend, and I just like. We'll put that online. Like, You're like this bitch sucks ahead. at playing snow. Yeah. Anyways, so are you friends with any of those people anymore? No. I don't. I really don't see why. Yeah. That can't. That can't be possible. No, I, I, actually, I was friends with um one of them until like last year. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Did she die? No, she was just a bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I went back to my Zanga and I said, "You still a bitch?" Hey. And we stopped talking. I don't know what we happened. We got a new name for you. Forever ruthless. Ooh, <laughs> I love damn. it. I like love that it. one. Love it. Love it. I'm gonna create a Zanga today. Hey Stark. <laughs> Stark. Did you uh did you have a Zanga? Yes. Dude, your Zanga kept getting hacked. Remember did. that? Didn't you have did. like penises on the background at one point? <laughs> yeah, I, I got hacked. Who hacked you? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I remember that. I guess it was Chad. Uh, no, no, no. It wasn't me. But like I was trying to help him. Do you remember? <laughs> oh, like, yeah. We would get hacked and we would change the password. Like, we're good. And all of a sudden he got hacked again. We're like, how well, is this happening? My email got hacked. That's what it was. And therefore everything got hacked. It was like a root root problem was this email got yeah. hacked. And we didn't know. We just thought it was the Zanga. But somebody was going to and change it at the penis dude yep stark rubs somebody the wrong way to be honest with you someone liked stark and stark did not like him and so it just became this whole thing am i wrong that's what happened right essentially yeah it was chip your wasn't it (laughs) (laughs) no it was that motherfucker no it wasn't fuck you no did y'all have any cringy email addresses um Damn. No. That they weren't cringy at the time, but like when you think about it now, you're like, oh, why? No, I had my my, my original aim name was uh, Tim FX555. And um, I think I had an email address like that. But uh, from that point forward, like everything's been like, like my first initial, last name, or like I've got it 
tim.h.sale oh, now. So mine was it's the rock at tml.com when I worked at T-Mobile and uh, I had a sidekick. You had to have a, a T-Mail account and mine because I loved like Rockefeller Records, like Jay Z, and he'd always be like he'd always be like it's the rock, and I'd have that as my. <laughs> oh, I had uh, my... I had Y Tim K. Uh, uh, yeah, Y Tim K. Y 04. That was one of the better yeah. ones you had. Mine were always Chad SBK yeah. or Leading Bloody because the band. Or I, Baby I, Dick I had, 69. Had, also Baby Dick. But no, I had <laughs> I had Chad SBK and Leading Blindly because I had a band like back in the day day. It was awful, but we had one. Um, Wait, you had a band? Yeah. What did you do in the band? I played guitar. Oh. Yeah. Um, he was horrible at it. Uh, and then I was good enough to have a band, bitch. And then there's, there's singers <laughs> saying about snakes coming to get you or something. <laughs> it was weird. He was, he was, he was ahead. He was ahead of our time. Yeah. There, yeah. there's actually a lot of like singer songwriters that have a lot of like his similarity that yeah. do well now. Yeah, yeah. I think that, yeah, he had a lot of, a lot of metaphors and stuff. Yeah. That, he was a great writer, yeah. but it was not for high school. <laughs> like it was, yeah. Like he, this was a high school band and he was singing like he was 30. Yeah, exactly. We had a phenomenal <laughs> drummer. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good time. It was fun. So, uh, ch- seriously, until I change it to Go Chad Go, it has always been Chad SBK. Like I don't yeah. see the point in changing it every single time. What's, Tim. what's funny is there was a uh, there was a band uh, called SBK, and it did not stand for Spike. It was Stupid Punk Kids. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. yeah I, mine was SBK because someone called me Spike at one point. I was like, oh okay, that, that's fine because my hair like just st- stuck straight up. I got up. pictures. So we'll, I'll show you later. <laughs> yeah, I just had like. There's the also a picture of cut. him with like a mop on his head, and he's holding a guitar. Yeah, I also I did a bunch of hair things. Yeah. I also grew my hair out. It was like down to my. It was almost as long as his was recently. Like it was down to my shoulders yeah. uh, in high school. It was bad. Jordan, do, do you, you wish like, that like if that if that medium was still open, like Zanga and MySpace, do you think you would like to have it now? Like, yeah. Would you want to? I would. Like, would you rather do, Would you rather have MySpace now versus Facebook? No, that's mine. Okay. Do not touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think you'd do great. I mean, I think it would be a good companion with your podcast. Yeah. Like, it, you'd be talking shit, and then, of course, like, you'd write it, and then, you know, you'd do your podcast. Hi. Um, Sh- Harvey, Harvey uh, SBK was at South Park Caucasian. I like how you spelled that. With a K? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> uh, this just in, Zanga.com is still a thing. Uh, 2.0, though. But there is a Zango 2.0, and it's here. But I tried to go to, like, type in mine, and I couldn't find it. Yeah, they might have got Did rid you want to know what my email address was? Yes. It was Daddy Big Girl. <laughs> Wait, Actually, it was <laughs> Daddy's Big Girl. Is this because you went through like a like because you were? Oh my God! <laughs> it was just it was my dad's oldest child. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> Lord! And they they're like, mm, this is naughty. No, we can't do this. You got to change your email, sweetheart. So for some reason, they deleted my email address. <laughs> but I'm Daddy's Big Girl. <laughs> she didn't even have a number behind it because no one else no, it was wanted 1992. it. 1992. Oh, oh my, my God, God. Jordan. My email now is just my name. Jordan like, nobody Nicole. Nobody spells name that way. But what's your middle name? Lee. Jordan Lee. Oh, you can call her Jay. You can call me Jay. That's hilarious. <laughs> or hot tamale for short. I thought I had the Kid best Naughty. email, but no. <laughs> what's your email? I'm my still email blown was... away by Daddy's Big Girl. <laughs> his Daddy's his big was girl. Daddy's Big yeah, Girl eighty six. I, I can't top that, but I had an email at. Is Bevo at IHateClowns.com. Another, <laughs> another phobia of mine. <laughs> what? That's one that Chad yeah, specifically face, went to an IHateClowns.com to start an email address? He's like, yeah. man, I hate clowns so much. I'm going to go to IHateClowns.com. <laughs> it's where all the clown haters uh, come to come to unite. <laughs> clown or clan? United Clown Haters of America. Okay, we have gotten so off topic. We're already an hour in, and we haven't even started. Like, I don't even know what we're doing at this oh, point. Oh, man. This is okay. going to be a great vibing. fun fucking, yeah, fucking A. This is just a shoot this the shit straight episode. Fucking shoot vibing. Shit. Yeah. This is fun. I like this. You know, like, there were people were like, y'all sound too much like a fucking radio show. Like I'm, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I, I love shooting the shit. I, I wanted Jordan to like be free with this. Like I, I love it. Free ball it. Not too free, Daddy's big girl. Like this is just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this, this is, is a family a, show. That's the episode name. It's a family show. Daddy's big it's a family show. Oh man, we're gonna get some weird hits on that one. <laughs> Daddy's big girl. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Our YouTube's gonna blow we're gonna up. Get some weird algorithms with Daddy's big girl with Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got an episode name. That was easy. Hey, we're gonna- <laughs>
be prepared. We're going to get probably like 500 new subscribers. Oh, yeah. And they're not going to be subscribers we want. <laughs> we just got to have to get a really good picture of you for the thumbnail and just put Daddy's Big Girl. We'll, we'll get all sorts no, of crazy shit. people subscribing. Literally, Kate and I were talking about this. Oh, and we were like, man. we should like catfish people on our OnlyFans. Oh, my God. Not catfish them. Like, we'll use ourselves, but we'll make it seem like we're going to do like an actual cat, like an actual like OnlyFans. Oh, yeah. And then just be like us shooting the shit. Like, just, just take like a really people. good picture, you know, oh, yeah. to draw them in. Once they're in, they're in. We got their money. And then we just like, bullshit. So know? I so I have one for, for us. But I had to change the name and I had to put my information and picture on there. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't let because all Because they wouldn't of us, let yeah. me. Because they wouldn't let me, like. They're not into group things? They're yeah, not. No. no, it's weird. So, like, it's it's there. It's ready. And so, like, we joke about it, but it's it's real. Listen. And I've posted pictures, like, I've posted pictures of myself because they're like, if you don't post pictures, like, for so long, they're going to freeze your yeah, account. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck you. I'm going to keep it open. And, of course, it's free right now. I need to change it because I have, like, four followers on there. Yeah, you should, you should monetize but that. It, but, again... Can we talk about how big of an addiction OnlyFans is? No, because no, no. I'm not. I'm not hey, oh, uh, so uh, notorious, money on notorious DBG. A lot of money for that. Seriously, notorious Dude. daddy's big girl. There we go. Man, we got we're getting you all kinds of names, man. This is gonna be this is good. That, let's let's say that for Twitter that episode. says huh? notorious DBG. Let's say that for another episode. Yeah. OnlyFans addiction. Apparently, he's got a problem. All right, so Jordan, <laughs> let's let's get back to you. Support local, right? Can we see my absolutely. favorite subject. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> So, what have you been up to? I mean, you've got, like we mentioned, you've got the podcast, you've yeah. got the clothing line, love yeah. these sweaters. So, let's start with the podcast. What, what all What all have you been up to with it? Um, not a lot, actually. Oh, um. great. Good selling point. <laughs> Go check it out, everybody. Forever Reckless. Yeah, it pretty much sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do shit. <laughs> Listen, I like to keep it bare bones, you know? Like, low expectations, like... What you see is what you get. But I did actually, I started like prioritizing it. And so I like upgraded all of our equipment. I'm in the process of like, because I shared like all the, we record in my office right now, which I actually use my office, but like my office has become like the recording, my my work office where we record. And it's also like where I have like the rack of like Forever Reckless like clothes. Yeah. And so like, I'm trying to figure out how to make that space work to be able to fit everything in there. Because I really do want to do like the video format for the podcast but right now like my room is a fucking mess so yeah. like i don't want to show that um but we upgraded the equipment um i have we start i started the podcast with mariella and our schedules just don't work together we're completely like we don't live close to each other at, at all yeah so i record now with my friend kate and then we figured out a way to get like mariella still involved with it she comes on like bi-weekly or whenever she really can um and then that's really it. Our focus right now, I I created like the um, TikTok for it. Haven't posted anything on it yet, but I have it for like so that the username is saved. Yeah. But that's the goal this year is to become more like b- like grow on social media. Well, I do and, like, love post. I do love uh, the the fact that Kate kind of like does uh, insert herself to be like that figure. I mean, Mariello's like wild, but like yeah. Kate is just like her own beast. Yeah, we, yeah. Like, she we does a great to, job. We finally got to meet her on your birthday. Yeah, on my birthday yeah. weekend. She is yeah. nuts. She's wild. And, and she's, how, how much younger? She's young. She's 23. She's 22. Yeah. She'll be 22? 23 okay. in like a couple weeks. Like, that's fucking... Yeah. I mean, like, she's fun and she's hilarious, but goddamn, she is crazy. She's crazy. She's <laughs> yeah. crazy. Like, listening to, like, listen, I mean, like, listening, it, your your podcast period is just a fun, it's a fun fucking listen. Like, it can, it for, for 30 minutes, it can go on and... Like it, the entire time is like a fucking ride. It's like nonstop. Yeah. Like from start to finish, it's. We really go in it without like any idea. I'll tell you guys this. I mean, I'll tell. Your You're gonna tell the world, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we, re- I really don't like to plan things. I like to just like go off, off the, cuff. the cuff. Yeah, yeah. gotcha. And so this, this not season, this year with all the episodes, we're naming the episodes after song titles their actual songs and then like we're just correlating it to whatever we're talking about so like if we're like me and Kate listen to a lot of same music so like if we're listening to the same song and like we're kind of in that feeling right there then that's going to be the name of the song or that's going to be the episode title that's going to be the topic it makes it easier to kind of draw it in together and then what I figured I would do is like at the end of the year make a playlist with all those songs oh that's cool that's fucking cool that's cool that's awesome yeah we're not smart like that what, what, this one was uh, Say It To My Face or what was yeah, it? Yeah, Say It To My Face. Yeah, today's, like today's yeah. drop. Last week's was? Um, 20, 22. 
That's 22. T- that's a yeah, Taylor Swift. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Just because I was. Yeah. I, I got that after y'all talk about it and I'm like, oh, okay. I fucking get it now. Just so you know, I'm checking just for you. I'm trying to do you a favor. There is not a song on Apple Music called Daddy's Big Girl. <laughs> um, there is Daddy's Girl and there is also Big Girl by Nas. But there is not and a Big Girl by Dr. Dog as well. But there's no Daddy's Big Girl. Check, Sorry. Check, uh, check YouTube. Daddy's Big Girl song. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Chad will get on that. We'll get a beat. Chad will fucking make it. You can be in the... Oh, I can the, make a daddy's big you can girl do the hook. We'll do a daddy's big yeah. girl song. You I can, can do, do the hook. I think I was like, since he plays a guitar, I can whip out my violin. Oh, we shit, should make yeah. a band. You do a fucking violin? Yeah. Holy it shit. It could be like the Forever Panthers or something like that. We need, we honestly, the Reckless Panthers, kind of, the Forever Reckless Panthers. We need yeah. to do some collab. Like, we should do like a clothing collab or something like that. I'd That'd be, be a lot of fun. What's a, um, okay, uh, Gossip Girl Jenny's. Her real life band was. Uh, uh, I think it's the forever, pretty the pretty, the pretty, the pretty reckless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's pretty reckless. Damn. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd be down. We should do a club. I'm, I'm down. down for that. Hundred percent. I don't have much to add much on the podcast, guys. Well, we'd that love to it. hear it. It's it's always fun to listen to. Y'all are crazy. Uh, it doesn't okay. get any less crazy, and it's it's funny because I mean I mean. We're not te- te- technically your like demographic. I don't think <laughs> like grown ass men <laughs> listening to Jordan. Like, Jordan sat down with creating this whole podcast. She's like, you know what? I want to reach some grown ass men. I, wonder, I only want grown ass men to listen to my podcast. <laughs> none, but, none of them kid shit. Audience. But it's still really enjoyable. And so uh, definitely go check it out if you haven't already done so. Forever Reckless podcast, really really funny and and just fun to listen to. They're on Apple, Spotify, all the things, right? Apple, Spotify, <laughs> iHeart, all the things. Thanks. Nice. So tell us about the uh, the clothing line. The clothing line has been really neglected, guys. COVID has hit a lot oh, of manufacturers great. hard. Great. Um, the You're seriously doing the worst job selling yourself <laughs> on this podcast. Listen, what the hell? I like to keep it real, okay? <laughs> I like to give the people... Keep your what, expectations yeah. low, and then she's going to surprise exactly. you. you know? If, you, if, you, if exactly. it's something good, then hey. Exactly. A shirt with daddy's big girl. Like just yeah, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. I feel like that's gonna truck. <laughs> she's <hat>. she's <laughs> shaking, she loves no, it. No, so no, no, no. It needs to be okay, so six flags. You know those uh the airbrush airbrush. <laughs> oh, <like daddy's laughs> big girl. It'll be like a Kanye esque like shirt where it's airbrushed and who who can we put on? I imagine a, I imagine just a plain white t shirt. <laughs> It's like pink and blue. It just says Daddy's Big Girl. <laughs> with one of those like cartoon drawings of Jordan with like a, a cartoonish smile oh, on it. Oh, no. With, like, with, thumbs like, up. with wings. With wings and like oh, a... Yeah, like oh, not angel. a halo though because she's not dead. The, no. But the other one, there's gotta be t- it's got to be a two shirt. So you got Why? Daddy's Big Girl and the other shirt's got to just say Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is the worst idea. <laughs> Now that's bad. I don't. I don't no. care for that. That's like, that's like stripper worthy. Like you gotta work at a strip club yeah. if you're doing. If you're so wearing that. neglected or not, you still have Shop Forever Reckless out yes, there on I the do. interwebs. I do. I'm in them. I was gonna launch like. Um, I was gonna do a, like a Valentine's collab, and I was gonna actually launch my sweatpants because I've been working really hard to get like sweatpants on there, um, but literally COVID it's like affecting everything um, my main I use a different manufacturer that I use like for my tops because mm-hmm. I don't like the sweatpants they have but like they're having to move warehouses so like oh, I literally can't order anything for like a month and it's just like it's that's really the reason why um, so that's been scrapped um like I haven't even added that on there just because these like, are comfortable as hell I yeah, didn't realize like, what is it champion, champion. champion. Yeah. yeah so like I obviously I design and every edit like um a design everything and so like I tested out like this is the original canceled hoodie and it's not it's the Gildan brand yeah it's not as like good quality as like the champion one so I'd rather pay a little bit more yeah. for a better quality thing I, I love um, this again I, I, I wore this on you. date night at a uh, Paris on 7th and I'm getting ready to add it to the website guys hey, oh, you yeah. what, so what you're saying is we got some exclusive yeah, like you guys, not even out damn. stuff yeah. Man. you are the only ones that have that besides me fuck yes nice thank you so much you're welcome that, your that makes me balls. feel real special you're welcome and he never feels special I don't usually <laughs> I, so what's funny is like so whenever Chad gave us those he gave us those bags I was like what is this I pulled it out I'm like oh my gosh because I made a comment yeah. whenever we were out I was like I love that sweatshirt I want that sweatshirt right so I already had them that's why I wore yeah. that one okay okay like, okay I'm gonna see them I want to see what yeah, they say see what we say about it okay yeah love it um, and so I put it on and Javier was like goes just with my jeans and my my Nikes I had on with yeah. that sweatshirt he's like. That actually looks really good on you. Yeah. I was flexing. Yeah. Yeah. I was fucking flexing. Like, I felt really fucking. Yeah. I wore it um, 
I wore it for Hot Pot Night. I wore it f- later that day. For Hot whatever. Pocket Night. Hot Pocket Night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some sex pocket. And oh then... Um, what? <laughs> and then for uh, date night. So, like, the entire weekend I wore it. Date and night and sex pocket, are they, like, the same night? About, yeah. Okay. Well, got it. Same. All right. <laughs> But I'm glad you guys really liked it. We do. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be weird. Not to make it awkward. Do, are you? Know. you? Are you, though? No. Probably not. No. All right. So something that we want to talk about, um, something that you yeah, talk about. Great. What? Stock is low everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So something that you talk about, I think you talked about it. You talk about it in your podcast. I know you talk about it on social media from time to time. Is like astrology, horoscopes, people's signs and things like that, right? You. Yeah, you, I went to school for that. Nah. I got a bachelor. <laughs> you did. I didn't. Oh, I was like, holy <laughs> shit. You got me. Wow. Okay. Uh, so tell me tell me more because I feel like you're talking to – Tim, do you believe in horoscope astrology? Uh, I mean, no, not not fully. Like full-heartedly? No. Can you, okay. Javier? Come again? Can you full-heartedly say that you believe in like astrology and horoscopes and shit like that? I used to when I was growing up because my mom would uh, – we'd always watch uh, Walter Mercado. Okay. And he would always do it and, and – even uh, still, you know, I, I am confused about the, uh, what's the other, like, they'll say you're a Capricorn with a, a rising m- sun moon like, rising. Yeah, that shit I don't fuck with. Like, I don't, I don't, that's too much. I mean, I, I think that, like, I think it's weird that certain things, like, if you look at, like, your sign or whatever, it does fit you. Yeah. But I also think that like, I could probably look at any sign, and if I didn't know that I was, like, a Scorpio or whatever... If I looked at like you know Aries or, or something like that, I'd be like, oh yeah, th- that's per- that's me. See, I remember seeing some kind of study before we we don't mean to shit on it right off the bat, but yeah, like okay. um, I remember seeing some kind of study where this professor in this college or something like that was talking about how he gave everyone like their horoscope based on their sign, right? And he said like read it, and everyone's like, okay, I can re- I can relate to this, like absolutely, like I was a cynic, and now I believe that this is probably me, right? And then he said, okay, now pass it to the person to your right, and then read it, thinking that that is your sign, and they would read it and go, oh shit, this also kind of pertains to me. Yeah. Like they're they're so a lot of them, and not all of them, but a lot of them are so vague that really they can kind of pertain to anybody, right? But, but I think um, some like personality traits, though. I feel like that's what's weird. Yeah. Horoscopes can like be hit or miss sometimes. I'll say that, but yeah. like your the personality traits, I think is what I fully believe in, okay. and like the combat compatibility between certain people. Like um, Virgo, I'm a Virgo, and my little sister's an Aries, and like. Virgo and Aries kind of like butt heads a lot, and that makes complete sense. Like me and my sister did not <laughs> like each other. But could life. it just be that it's your sister and? You know, y'all are family. You're gonna butt heads. No, because she's just like a little. I'm not gonna call her a bitch. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> she's daddy's little girl, and I don't care about her. But like, she's like she can be an asshole, and that's basically like the characteristics of it, like an yeah. Aries, and why we don't get along sometimes. But like, anytime that I'll tell somebody like, "Oh, I'm a Virgo," they're like, "Oh, that makes sense." And I'm like, "Yeah, because I'm perfect," you know. So my my brother's a, um, a, Sa- a Sagittarius. And like he's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, they can be like. Is so there something they about be, Sagittarius being a piece of shit? Sagittarius are like tricky because like they can be like so good, but then like you also like hate that you know them. Yeah, I mean, like he's he can be a real cunt. Okay, <laughs> you, okay. can you walk us through some? Yeah, like, walk us yeah, through please. Stuff. So I asked Chad what you guys were. I knew what Chad was because our birthdays are so close together. Yeah, but we'll start with him. Um, Chad is a Leo, and. These are the characteristics of Leo's, and it makes sense for him. Um, he attention seeker. Yes, they are. Yep, I don't think that's right. Okay, <laughs> um, a natural leader. You kind of like take charge. You're a natural born leader. Um, you're popular, but in the sense that like you, you're popular, but it's because like you crave attention. So you're gonna. <laughs> you're an you sure as shit does. <laughs> you're popular because you're an asshole. You're yeah. pop. You're you're, you're 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 popular because uh, you put yourself. Right. In that position, right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Nick's a Leo too, so you got company. Hey, Nick, you want to be friends? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more. So. Tell okay. us more. Um, you're a little bit dramatic slash theatrical. Oh yes, he is. <laughs> um, it does. It said spoiled, and it was like <laughs> when you kept reading reading it, it was like you kind of just lived the good life. Like you're you're not 
it's self spoiled, but not in like the way I would define spoiled. I think he's self spoiled. He's self spoiled. Like, yeah, now. like you just spoil yourself. You spoil oh, yeah. yourself. Oh, yeah. You weren't like, spoiled growing up. Yeah, no, not, you spoil not yourself. Really. No, this fool grew like, up. You're constantly he grew up doing poor. shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Are we talking about like spoiled, like getting everything you want, or spoiled, like your spoiled milk? No, like spoiled uh, like, as in like like I'll do what I want. And yeah, just, like yeah. Just living yeah. your life. Okay, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 yeah. Living my life. Yeah, I believe that. Um, you're loyal, and you can be very protective. Okay. Okay, that's you. We're moving on. Um, who is Capricorn? <laughs> Me. Um, I don't know where you are. Okay. It just says piece of shit. <laughs> moving on. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> no, um, it said that when it came to like circumstances, you were very like realist. Like you kind of see things for how they are. I thought she You're was not- going to say circumcision. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry. Why? Go ahead. Why, why would that sound a personality? I'm not circumcised. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry, Jordan. I'm going to say that. Sorry. Um, it says <laughs> ambitious. You? Um, you're sensitive in the sense that you don't like being the butt of the joke. Like, no. yeah. if we all start taking cracks at you, you're probably going to get a little, a little bit hurt. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah he's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, persistent and patient. <sighs> I can see patience. I, I am patient at work or with, with people. Like I, like I won't blow up on them. Like I'm just, I hold it in sometimes. Yeah. I mean, you're, yeah. you're a pretty patient guy. Yeah. yeah. Does it matter if you're like, is where, where's the line on the Capricorn? Do you know? Um, I don't know, but it does matter. Like if so, like, um, sailor is a Leo. But he's right on the cusp, so he has like cancer. Oh, tendencies. so it's like a traits, like the, yeah, the traits like, are kind of like cr- cross. Yeah, it's like a, kind of like a mix of it. Okay, like Mary always says, she's like a mixed because she's Pisces Aries. So that's a thing, though. You mm-hmm. can be mixed if you're yeah. close enough to that threshold. Of okay, yeah. so like looking at mine, um, my birthday's November 18th. Yes, you, and so mine goes to like November 22nd is a cutoff. So would I be crossed over into the next one, or am I far enough? Back. I, I want to say you're far enough back. Okay. Like there's actual specific cuff. Yeah, like, gotcha. Cusp date. <laughs> um, but for you, you're a Scorpio. It said that you're like one of the most misunderstood signs. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Sure fucking okay. is. God um, damn it. <laughs> I'm very misunderstood. Here we go. Okay. Uh, you are loyal. You're curious. So like if you're cur- curious about something, you're going to figure it out. You're going to like dig. That's 100%. It, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's um, true. You're kind of guarded when it comes to like your personal life. You only like kind of let people in like your close circle. That's hundred percent. Yeah, like they got to work their way up to it. Um, you're strategic. Yeah. Um, I'm always thinking about my next move. Yes. Like how I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So loyal and smart. You stand by your beliefs. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to, a to, a, to a fault. Yeah. To a complete yeah. fucking fault. And it says passionate. So yeah. 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 Okay, so I pulled up something real quick um, from another thing. So Scorpio traits: primary emotion is betrayal. <laughs> uh, looks cool in a leather jacket. Okay with com- uncomfortable silence. Can't be okay sure with cum. <laughs> Can't be sure if they're serious or joking. Eyes that look into your soul. The best careers for them are con artist, puppet master, <laughs> puppet master, brooding protagonist, poltergeist, or cult leader. Um, <laughs> Okay, I actually that <laughs> yeah the cult leader thing. Okay, wait a second. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read through. I want to read through what I just found. Yeah. On, on the, okay, so you're what, what? What are you? I'm a Virgo. Okay, so let's look at Virgo real quick. Uh, needs to feel useful. Yes. Has a quick fix for everything. Judgmental, but with good intentions. <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh, not always good intentions. <laughs> I don't know. That uh, Zanga <laughs> burn book posting sounds Yeah, good. no shit. Yeah. Where was the good intentions in the burn book? It was honesty. Oh, <laughs> there we go. They needed to know. Uh, exceptional uh, spatial awareness <clears throat> and million ideas per second. Mm-hmm. Okay, best careers for you. Hot librarian. <laughs> librarian? A librarian. Uh, Tupperware for other people's messes. What? So like, like a counselor. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Uh, walking right. encyclopedia. Yeah, that didn't sound. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> oh my god! Tupperware for everyone else. That's that, that, that is big girl. Yeah. Uh, this is this is totally wrong for you. Human GPS. No, you no. don't know where you're at half the time. Uh, one person welcome committee. So I don't know what that that means. Um, Brings on the party, man. Okay, so maybe L- Leo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh. You exude warmth and creativity. You're a little bit vain. No. <laughs> yeah. Very. Humble as fuck. Really big personality. Okay. Wants to stand out. 
Okay. Interested in luxury. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, you would make a good B-list actor. Motivational speaker. I say C list. I would fucking love B list actor. Like that. That is a goal. B list is good. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, autobiographical yeah. author and style icon. How is one going to be an autobiographical? I, I, <laughs> autobiographical. I've, I've had three white clothes. <laughs> autobiographical. Autobiographical yeah. author when they have nothing going on. <laughs> Like it's just like that's the vainness, I guess. I think so. Yeah. yeah. And then okay, you you are what? I'm a Capricorn. I'm Capricorn. Um, I would say Capricorn. You've been a full grown adult since age six. That's a lie. Well, actually, I did learn how to read and write by myself. Uh, the responsible friend. That's a lie too. That's- <laughs> Good lord. Motivated by duty. No. Damn. Takes a while to warm up to people. That's a lie because I can. Yeah, be you're very pretty charming. Good. No, Jordan. I wouldn't say like you take a lot of warm up to people. Yeah, That's no. What I'm oh, I take yeah. a lot. Take a lot to warm. Take no, a lot. No, to you don't take. No, she, I don't take a lot. To she's warm-up. disagreeing with I'm what disagreeing this is. Disagreeing with what that says. Oh, okay. Represses like, any emotion that gets in the way of success. Hmm. Daddy, <laughs> just has emotional problems. Period. Yeah, I, I do have emotional problems. Um, you would be a good accountant, lawyer. That's a lie. Landlord, elementary school hall monitor. I mean, yeah, I was a hall monitor in elementary school. Yeah. Kiss ass. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Stark, Stark, Stark. What are, what are you? Wait, wait, I mean, wait, she wait, 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 wait. Okay, she knows. Okay, okay. Yeah. Tell me if I'm right, because I've this is my second time or okay, first yeah. time actually, or second time actually meeting this man. Okay, it says. So what, so what is what is Stark? He's a Gemini, correct? Right. Yes. Okay. Right. Good. <clears throat> okay. That's what I told her. Um, anyway. <laughs> you have a slight Peter Pan syndrome. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That means that he loves. <laughs> Like uh, he likes whimsical things. He's yeah, like he a does. little boy. <laughs> um, okay. You down for a good time slash you're spontaneous? Uh, sometimes, but okay. on a responsible side. More recently, more, yeah, more, more recently, yeah, more recently, sure. Yeah. Um, you want to know everything, kind of like your Richie Smosel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Smosel, nice. Uh, emo- you don't like. You're not the friend that like would comfort someone if they're crying. You'd be like, uh, like, are you okay? But like, be like, mm. I believe that. I'm a hugger. <laughs> yeah, but not, we know you I like to hug, that. bro. <laughs> I mean, he is a hugger, but... He's a hugger. But, like, if I start crying right now, would you be like, are you okay? Or would you be like, aww? Dude, I think about know. pre-kids. He's like, three. Before the kids, definitely no. Right? Yeah, yeah definitely no. Before no, the kids. I don't think so. Uh, okay. I don't know. I think okay. you would have walked away. Yeah, you'd have been like, not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> you'd <been> like... <laughs> Like you would have you cared, okay? but you'd have been also been like, eh, you know, you're like, just crying. Yeah, yeah. I, would, oh, well. I would care, right? But you'd be yeah, like, but yeah, you'd be like you're fine. It's it's just a boo boo. Would you be like, oh, and just walk away? The yeah. last one was you're a jack of all trades. Like you know, a you oh, know a little yeah, bit about everything. Yeah, your whole right. circle concept. Yeah. Stark likes to move on to like different. I mean, I think that Tim does it. Yeah. I do it sometimes too. But he's been he he called it his circle, which you, you, know, you it's just, definitely our mental illness. So a little yeah. bit. Describe yeah. your circle concept. Yeah, so uh, here lately, it's it, it was guitar. I haven't played guitar in a few weeks. Yeah, God damn it, man, come on. <laughs> it's rotating. You're doing so it was good. Woodworking, leatherworking, uh, programming. But that that's my job. But I. I like to program on the side, but not lately. But it, it's constantly. Currently, it's uh, the Pokemon card game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, and, this is on uh, national television, by the way. Yeah, you might not want to tell everybody that. It's okay, fine. all right, it's fine. But uh, it's not. I don't know. You, you're convincing me though, because these you're. I'm spot on with them. You're spot on with them. Yeah. Uh, so that is le- making me more of a believer. Yeah. But. Uh, I think for me, it's more the ADHD than the Gemini. So you can say that. Your birthday was it on the sixteenth? Yes. Right, and this goes to the twentieth. So I wonder if he also falls into the, some of those like cancer yeah. traits, right? Because oh, that would yeah. be the next one. That that's something I'd be curious on. Is like if you're close okay. to the line, if you go between the two. So let me read what I've got here on him. <laughs> okay. Charismatic. Uses humor as a crutch. Could talk to a brick wall. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure we've seen him do that. Uh, argument, this wall. Arguments as flirting. Uh, knows a little bit about everything. Yeah. So, yep. Uh, best career would be likable politician. Actor who plays a quirky side character. I can see that. Devil's, <laughs> devil's advocate. Uh, Bubblegum rapper joke writer. 
That's definitely tell us yeah. tell us the cancer because I feel like some of okay. these are like fifty fifty like it's hit or miss so with you. Little, Would you yeah. agree? Like yeah. some of these are like spot on, but some of them are like I don't see it. Okay, answers are like sensitive. Very sensitive. Stark's a sensitive yeah, fellow. He is extremely sensitive. Yeah. Very yeah. sensitive. Uh, seeks comfort. Yes. Forgives but never forgets. Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Your birthday was five days early. <laughs> Actually, it was a, a oh month early. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Well, damn it! <laughs> The due date uh, was like a month. Only has one boundary, but it's a very firm one. No. <laughs> <laughs> that straw. Uh, takes on other people's problems. Daddy's big girl, stop. Bro, you got more cancer in you than you do, uh, was it Gemini? Dude, were you seriously early? Uh, well, the due date was uh, July, but my mom thought it was June, and it was she was right, but I don't know. Do you have any horoscopes for uh, mistake children? Like, um, oops, babies. The, they, the horse I think goes, that's just your horse. Yeah, it's whatever yeah. you did. Yeah. That's when you were born. So best careers for, for him would also be uh, emotional pack mule, <laughs> care, <laughs> uh, caretaker for lost skaters. I don't know what that is. Uh, that one influential uh, elementary school teacher. Sure. Free hugs. <laughs> no. It's just a table. Uh, free hugs booth. It's and a metaphorical a heart surgeon. Uh, yeah, he would be a great free hugs booth. Uh, guy. I think so. I yeah, he would very. Yeah, absolutely. Could see that's it. bizarre. He's tall and lanky, and I think he'd give good good hugs. That's bizarre that you fall more into the cancer. I wonder. So here's the deal. This is are you? Are you is that that's all of us, right? Yeah. I mean, unless you see someone. Well, hang on. Okay. So I'm I'm, I'm I'm a Scorpio, but let's look at Sagittarius real quick. Uh, no indoor voice, which is true. I have no. I don't talk quiet. I feel like you do. Yeah, you don't talk loud. Jesse says the you exact opposite. That's it. Jesse says I'm loud all the time. Nah. Okay. You're just angry all the time. Uh, forms opin- opinions off of pure emotion. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Obsessed with self-improvement? No. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, duh. Uh, Drink up. Wields their truth like a blunt weapon. I do speak truth. You do. 100%. Uh, friendliest person at the party? No. So I, I think like a little bit, maybe like the the being blunt and uh, forms opinions. So, so when, sometimes, yeah. when's your birthday? Uh, the eighteenth of November, and so uh, Sagittarius starts on November. So 22nd. yeah, it is that one's kind of close too. So yeah. a little bit of both. Well, well, here's what I think about uh, horoscopes. Like growing up, like watching like the 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 main one for us Hispanics was uh, Walter Mercado, and if, if you probably know him from like the. Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, was he like on a TV? Like- yeah, he was on Primer Impacto, like on Univision, uh, like a Mexican channel. But he was in like the rhinestoned out, like cape and suit. Yes. And, uh, okay. I, I've, yeah. yeah. And so, like, and and I did love watching that because I would base that. And this is the good thing I think for people that like kind of shit on that, like like get over yourself. But like, I think it's good because it, it gives you when you listen. It gives you a goal for the next day because it, this was every day. Like every day, he would come on the show and he'd read people's horoscopes, and it, it would be like a um, like a catapult to, to like let you seize your day. Like I think it'd be something that you can look forward to and like try to plan. Yeah, he was that weird, scary dude. What scary? I, like, dude, dude, home homeboy looked looked creepy. I mean, older, but the older he got, I mean, it's. But he was like a liberal. Yeah, like that's a, him. He was like a Liberace. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I I, I think that um, even that like was, that was him. And even still, like reading it too. Like after I was old enough to like stop watching that because I got tired of it. Like I would still read the horoscope. Like on they, they would have it on the Star Telegram or like um, other like um, publication. Publication. See, this would be the perfect time to be able to, for him to pull that up so everybody can see what he looks like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. He's very creepy, but but I think it's it's a good stepping stone to like plan your day, like because this is an everyday thing, like to march forward and like take charge of it, like like uh try to be weary of like bad juju or like karma. Like I think it's really good for that. I think it's like it's like a handbook. You. Absolutely, a hundred percent. And I mean, it's people are skeptical about it, but I think it's. It's how yeah, you can so uh, so Christy says that she thinks there was a Netflix saying uh, mucho mucho amor yeah that, that was his that was his line whenever he would sign yeah. off he said the mucho, legend, mucho, mucho. the legend of Walter Mercado <laughs> amor yeah so that was his thing. it's it's funny because like I Walter Market right the Mercado. logical yeah <laughs> it's weird 
The guy's name is Walter Market. It's yeah. Mercado, you son I of know. a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I think it's funny because like the logical side of me wants to say like there's nothing to astrological signs, right? Like I, I feel like the horoscopes and the astrological signs, there's no way that that's true, right? Like when we're born means that we're going to have a certain personality type. But obviously they seem pretty, pretty close to spot on. It's aliens, yeah. man. Right? Aliens. <laughs> no. Seriously? Maybe. You think? Could be. It's the stars. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's the stars. The stars do it. Okay. <laughs> so are we supposed to like, are we supposed to be in love with someone that's a different astrological sign? So no, but you have like your, your like most like compatible people. Okay. You know? So I, like, I have a chart that actually. I would like on. to know who yeah. Capricorn is most compatible with. Well, first Leo's, of all. Leo's bro. Calm Are you down. Leo? Leo's, bro. Are you trying to blow me right now? Okay. Your biscuits. <laughs> so I, to... I just looked up. I looked up Scorpio. Trying and to butter your buds there, baby. For, for me, it'd be Cancers, other Scorpios, and Pisces, as they speak the same emotional language, and then Earth signs: Virgo, Taurus, uh, Taurus or um, uh, Capricorn. How about the Chinese uh, um, calendar? Like, how does that? I'm an ox. I'm a tiger. It's or it's the year of the tiger. So yeah, it's I'm, my year. Yeah, I'm. I'm also tiger. This yeah. is my year. Yeah, so far, it's been a hell of a start. Absolutely. Like, a like I've year. done a lot of good things, and uh, life has been pretty good lately. Yeah. What's Tab? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Where she is. She, she, it is Taurus. So, like, on my chart. Yeah. Leo. Yeah. Taurus. It shows y'all butt heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's for damn sure. What's what's the closest? Like, what, does it show like your best and your worst, or how does it um, show you? It gives me like a little description of each one. It's it's like you and another Leo would be a celebrity couple. Uh, you and another uh, Sagittarius would be dy- dynamic duo. Um, like me and Pisces, it shows perfect perfection. Um, what about me and Tim? Tim was a what were you? Well, Scorpio. Scorpio. Tim is a bitch. Scorpio. It says proceed with caution. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we'll, we'll have a good time. Not for a long time, but we'll have a good yeah. time. Yeah, it'll be a good time. How about Javier? Are you gonna give me? <laughs> there's a not. There's oh, not no, a sign. Me and Chad. Me and Chad. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, so for he was what is it? Uh, Capricorn. 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 Uh, Leo and Capricorn. Uh, Co-CEOs. Hey! <laughs> My brother. Yeah. Are we Jamaican? So, like, if I listen yeah, I to know. this, it shows Virgo and Aries doomed. Just doomed. I would oh save myself God. a lot of time. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know? <Holy> shit. <laughs> Jesus. Mother. Wow. So, it's, it's funny. I, I was thinking about this because I actually want to talk about this months ago. And it's been such a crazy couple of months that we haven't had you on yet. But I, I was know. thinking about how, like... I don't believe in any of this. However, obviously, there's some truth to it, right? It's a I started Leo thinking response. about. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I started thinking about like, what if it's not like the stars or the month, but just like the time at which we were born and what we experienced during that time. You know what I mean? Like, I was born early August. I'm the youngest in our class, so like, I had a different experience growing up. Uh, than maybe the youngest. He did. Well, yeah, but you know what I mean, yeah. right? Like, I was I the youngest in my class. I was born in August. What do you mean? You and I have similarities. That's true. <laughs> yeah, That's but, 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 but I think technically, I think we're both cusp. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But that's what I'm saying is like, I think that it's in my mind anyway, trying to like making it a little bit more logical. I think that there, there is something to be said about when people are born and what maybe they experience in the womb during that particular time. Right. Like different weather changes and different seasons. No. Yes. More, more than this. You mean the stars? Yeah. Gravitational pull. (laughs) Come on. Pulls on the pulls on your, on your soul. Yeah. But like if I started my life in August, my life is going to be completely different than Tim's who started it in November. Obviously it's, Stars, yeah, that's that's the uh, yeah, that's, that's what the you, whole yeah. point of this. <laughs> Come okay. on, Chad. I just I hate you and I disagree. In the chat, do you believe in the little red fortune fish out of your palm? <laughs> I still have mine somewhere. I don't know what the hell that is. You know, oh, those the you ever did that? The, yeah, you put it on your palm no. and it curls, and then it's like it curls based off of your emotion or something oh, like I that. Think I've done oh, that one time. Yeah. like a mood yeah. ring, but it was a fish. Did you have a mood ring going growing up? I, I yeah. have, I had, I love I feel like those. mine was always blue. 
What does that mean? I don't know. Probably uh, I was depressed. <laughs> I had one of those mood pencils. Hey, story of my life. Did you ever Try have one book. of those mood pencils? You held it and like you changed color or whatever? Like, no. Yeah, it, was no. Like, it was the same concept as mood paper. pencil? I think so. It was Did you like the fucking knockoff dollar store one? Yes. <laughs> That's all we could afford. I had Everlast shoes from. Uh, uh, from what's it, the from, artist? The, Everlast? From, no, from like the Dollar General. From that one song that he had. All right. So yeah. we asked uh, our Instagram, you know, wh- what are your thoughts? Astrology. Uh, Astrology and horoscopes. What are your thoughts? We had can't wait to hear what you're going to talk about. Yes, it's real. And um, basically, LDP is just waiting for us to like talk shit on it so he can like talk shit about us. I think. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, they're for it or no? Huh? Like they're for it? Or I, no? think, yeah. I think LDP. Yeah, LDP, yeah. Is, LDP yeah. is very into like yoga and calm and soothing, and he's got like a big mind. And I think that he he yeah yeah you know I think that he's very much about it. You know he's I mean? very open about it. He's right. about that life, which which I yeah. appreciate. Uh, Pero like let's eat said naturally. I want to say no, but real because of so many things we know. Right. So like what I was kind of saying like. I want to say no, but like it's, I wonder what she is. I wonder if she's a Leo. She said, came across horoscope and it's so spot on why and how. <laughs> and then aunt said, only believed what came out of Walter Mercado's mouth. Yes! Everything is now, <laughs> everything else is a lie now. <laughs> He's right. We, honestly, like literally every, every Hispanic, that's who they turned to for their horoscope, for their sign. Yeah. And they'd always tune in always. Yeah. Big institution. Like, if anyone wants to know where they should like read their horoscopes and like their predictions, Moon Omens on Instagram is a shit. Really? Yeah. Is like, it straight up spot. Moon Omens or Moon underscore? Like, is there just straight up Moon Omens? Okay, I'm gonna follow it on the Funky Panther. Okay. All right, so we've we, we've hit our main content, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Stark's got something for us. Stark's got Stark, a game yeah. for us. I do. I have an, an ast- astrology quiz. Okay, let's go for it. But before, didn't you say I, I, I was devil's advocate? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I said that, so that from, from the other thing. Yeah, so, yeah. so if you're born in January or, or if you miss the cutoff of like the, the kids in school. Right. The, the kid that like my son was born in September. And so he's just missed the cusp. So he's, so he's one of the oldest older and bigger, right? Those kids. And they've done studies on this where those kids do better in sports. Oh. And well, yeah, because are, he can dominate way, the kids. younger. And, yeah. And those kids are way more likely to uh, get into like the NHL. It was a hockey story. They're um, down with that. And, so basically, so, I need to hold my kid back. <laughs> well, well, yeah, they, they, they was statistically more likely for them to make it to the NHL because of when they were born. But it wasn't. It wasn't that. It wasn't the horoscope. It was just the construct that right. he had made. Right. So just the devil's advocate. That's that's I mean, the kind of point I was trying to make. Right. Like I I'm one of the youngest, and so like. Yeah, it is. I said that. I said I'm like the youngest in my class. I was the youngest in my class, and I felt like I grew up differently than maybe Tim yeah. did. That was like one of the older ones, right? Like we had a different experience growing up because each year was just he was just a little bit older, a little bit taller, and a lot. Well, taller. yeah. So okay, I I shot up probably whenever I was like I don't know eighth 10. grade. It was eighth grade. Well, ten years old. I was. If you look at my cousins, which are a year younger, most of them are a year younger. About about probably about Chad's around Chad's birthday and whatnot. It, there's cousins, 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 and then me. Yeah. You know, and I've always been that way. And then it makes a difference on how and, you yeah, grow then, up. Then eighth grade, I hit, you know, over like six foot and uh, I'm like this giant <clears throat> eighth grader with facial hair. So on that same note, I actually found this weird. I was like doing some digging and I found that there's actually some like mental disabilities that are closer tied to when you were born than anything else. This is this is a real thing. Like this is like a this is a doctor thing. I didn't make this shit up. I'm I'm listening to you. So schizophrenia is more common among people that are born in January, February, or March than any other part of the year. Shit. Per, uh, seasonal affective disorder is that. more common between March and April than any other month. Alcohol abuse is March, April, May, June, July. Okay. Than any, yeah, we're good. All of us are good, although all of us have problems. No. <laughs> um, autism, wait, 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 wait. When's Caitlin's birthday? Uh, she's February 16th. 
Okay, Fifth so she's borderline there. Yeah. Um, autism, March through August. Uh, bipolar, January through April. Down syndrome, June through August. And like that's all been like studied and proven that there. So nothing in like November. November is miss? time to be thankful. They didn't give you anything. <laughs> <laughs> did I, yeah. Did I miss? Did I miss? Did we miss something? Yeah. No. Nothing in November. Be you're, thankful you're for Down syndrome. Except I've got like attention deficit disorder. And, we all do, baby. Uh, yeah, we all do. We all do. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, hyperactivity. Speaking of attention know. deficit, start the quiz. So we have a quiz. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna win. Of okay, course you so, are. <laughs> and so. Uh, we're competing now. We have a whiteboard. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah For yeah, everyone yeah, that doesn't know, we are going to be competing in 2022 on who is the funkiest of Panther between uh, Javier, myself, and Tim. If Jordan wins, we all lose. Of course, Chad is the fucking first one. I'm the one that wrote it up right. there. Fuck you, bitch. Whatever. All right, all right go ahead. Let's get to all the right. game. So here, here's the game. <laughs> hey, what, what's our so, safe word? Oh, we have safe yeah, words? Say... Say your uh, your zodiac Scorpio, sign okay. to to buzz in. Leo's okay. quick and easy. I'm gonna say cat. Cool. Can I say cat. can I say, say scorp? Virg. Sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> Question number one. Virg sounds like Virga. Verga. Verga. What does the meaning of the word zodiac in ancient Greek mean? I don't fucking know. A. Well, I have good time. Oh, <laughs> a, a circle of animals. B circle of stars. C circle of life. Cat. Berg. <laughs> Chad. I didn't say anything. I said okay. cat. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're horrible at this. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Uh, circle of stars. <laughs> Leo. Circle of animals. Correct. Chad, one point. Nice. All right. Question number two. I was going to say B two. <laughs> <laughs> what is the first astrological sign in the zodiac? A, Aquarius, B, Aries, C, Leo. Virg. Yes. Aquarius. No. It's Cap. Not. Who? Cap. Yes. Capricorn. Yes, go. <laughs> go. That was not an option. Oh, was it? Was no, wait. Sagittarius. <laughs> I thought you were fuzzy. What? <laughs> what? Sagittarius. <laughs> uh... No, what? What were the options? <laughs> what were the options? Was that one of A, Aquarius, B, Aries, C, Leo. Leo, uh, it's Aries. Raise your fucking yes. hand. Fuck you. I wanted, I wanted to make sure he knew that Leo wasn't oh the God. answer I was trying to say. <laughs> okay. Was it Aries? Yes. Two, Two for... points. So, question three. What is actually the Zodiac? A, a group of planets in the galaxy. B, a series of stars Ooh. close to the Earth. Cap, C, Leo. C, an area of the sky extending to the ecliptic. Cap. B. Incorrect. Fuck! Scorp. Yes. Uh, A. Incorrect. Leo. Uh, C. <laughs> Correct. Obviously, <laughs> no, no, no. You, we hey. lose that question. We lose whoa, that whoa. Yeah. No, no, no. He gets yeah, it. You, God yeah. damn it. He gets it. <laughs> okay. Sucker. There's... I would have said B, though, to be real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which would be your zodiac sign if you were born on December 24th? Berg. Yes. Sagittarius. No. Fuck. Damn it. Hold on. Are you not going to give us options? A, Virgo. B, Capricorn. Leo. C, Gemini. Capricorn. Correct. Bitch. Hey, I knew it was a long <laughs> oh, one. Shit. God yeah. damn it. I, I was, was thinking, I thought one. it was Sagittarius. Yeah. Okay, which of the following Fuck. zodiac signs is represented by twins? Ooh, oh, uh, Virgo. Virgo. Yes. Bun Daddy's that big girl. Is it A, Gemini, B, Taurus, C, Gemini. Cancer? Yes. Fuck, yeah, because Gem oh, Gemini. Gemini. Gemini yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Kate is a Gemini, and she's a twin. She is a twin. Like oh, a, shit. She yeah. is. My wife is... True a, that. So, yeah. Interesting. Another. Okay. Mind okay. For it's you, crazy, right? Okay. Mind Another fucking reason that's fucking Gemini. Look, Gemini, not yeah. all twins are born. You don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> what if they were? Let's do a case study. <laughs> Funky Panther case study presents. Uh, are you a twin? No, so. and are you a Gemini? <laughs> Next question. Based on what can a daily horoscope predict the future of an individual? A, the color of the planets and stars, B, the position of the planets and the stars, or C, the shape of Scorp. the... Scorp. Scorp. B? Correct. Yeah. I finally nice. got a point. Great say, job, Tim. So you were going to score? Say, great job, Tim. There's three three questions left. What's the score? What's the score? I have four. I have one. You have three, motherfucker. 
No. That no. last one doesn't got, count. That was a gimme. Four, yeah, that four. was a fucking gimme. <laughs> okay, I'll take, I'll take three. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, so had what was What was his horoscope? He's really was, prideful You're acting real Leo. Look, yeah, what was Leo but Leo? humble? I'll, I'll go ahead and take three. Fuck you, you three. Leo. All right, three <laughs> questions left. People with the Zodiac sign typically have debates and are brave. Leo. Leo. Correct. <laughs> got him. All right, so can we, can we just say Chad wins? <laughs> Yeah. No, who's got the yeah, others? We got no, two two, more. We two got more. two more. Let's, let's which, talk them out. Which of the following is not the name of a zodiac sign? A Virga. B Sagittarius. Cap. 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 He said Virga. He said Virga. Is it? He said Virga. Is it Virgo like or Virga? <laughs> it says. Swing. It says. What is not the name? Right. Yeah. He said Virga. So is that the one? Is that your answer? You said Virga. <laughs> what? Yes. Yeah, that's, oh. that's the answer. What? Like as in Chupa. He just wants you to stop yelling at him, Javier. That means penis. Wants... That means penis. <laughs> Virga means penis. I can't laugh. Oh. Yeah, I like the way you were like, did you say Virga? <laughs> oh, my. Where did you hear that? First did of all, where did you hear that? Fuck, where did you hear that word? For the no, group? habla espanol. I don't man. know what that means. I just knew that it was in Virga. That means, means penis. penis. Oh. It means penis in Spanish. Yeah. I did not check this. <laughs> All right. Your, your, your mom, mom sent this yeah, to you. Your she, mom did this. She did. That was a joke. She was watching. <laughs> shut up. Thanks, mom. <laughs> which which well, sign is a jokester? Because that's your mom, probably. Huh? Yeah. Last question. How many zodiac signs are represented by animals? A seven, B nine, C eleven. Leo. Park. Leo. Nine. Nope. A. Correct. <laughs> Damn. Got it. So uh, Javier, how many did you get? One? I got one. So Javier and I are tied for the for the losing spot. Yeah. Okay. So, and Chad's the winner. Hey. First point of the year. I'm gonna go ahead and throw uh, my throw your mark up, up the there. Board. You fucking guess for all those. While, while you're shit. doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and queue up uh, our our segment for uh, things that are are upsetting Javier. If that's okay, right? Please. Let's butter in your biscuits. Let's butter in your biscuits. They're sunny. And now. For things that are happening to Javier that really, really makes him mad, he wants to talk about them. Well, let me tell you what's buttering my biscuits. Hey, hold up! What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hijack this. <laughs> you just, you what? just I turned know. it over. To I him. know, I turned it over to him, but you know what? I'm gonna hijack it. I'm oh, gonna what? hijack it. I'm gonna hijack it. Why? I'm pissed off. Oh <sighs> shit! Is this the good? Is this the good good? This is a good good. I'm not like I'm, I'm, I'm. <sighs> Fourth foodies. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Is, Ladies and food. gentlemen, this is uh, what's buttering Tim's biscuits. <laughs> so, so Fourth Foodies is a Facebook group that is ran by a I, dictator? Foodies. I by say, by a, a, a food tater? I want to say a C word, but I can't say the C word. Yeah. No, please So, don't. there was an article that was placed up about uh, Heim. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm Heim. Uh, they're expanding. That's good for them. And I made the comment, in my opinion, their, their barbecue is not great anymore. And so I made the I made the comment. I said, you know, good on them for expansion and growth. Yeah. But how about we get back to making good barbecue? Because they made good barbecue. Oh yeah, one hands point, down, they made sure. good good barbecue. They're at the at the beginning of whenever they started with their food trailer, they made great barbecue. Even at Magnolia, at Magnolia, they made good barbecue. Yeah. And now they're so hands off, they've just turned it over to other people. The Kent family's got their hands in it. They're expanding like crazy, which is, okay, good for them. Make that money, right? Let's make some good barbecue. And, and you know what happens? My comment gets deleted, and I'm no longer allowed to post or comment for a period of time. I got my hands, I got my hands slapped for making, making a statement that everybody else was thinking. Well, I'm right there with you, buddy, because the same thing happened to me. Like, I also said, like, the same thing. I was like, hey, props to them growing, but, like, hopefully, like... This new location is better than the previous one. Didn't you learn from Tim's lesson? Well, no. I, I just wanted to. I wanted to see, like, because obviously you know, and and everyone that follows the Four of the Foodies knows that I always troll them with like my poncho. If you're gonna recommend like a place for date night or Mexican food, I'll say Poncho's Mexican Buffet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, did, like Jordan, have you ever been to Poncho's Mexican? Raise the flag. Yeah, when I was like eight years old. Yep. Nice. Nice. That's whenever it was best. Noise, but uh, I, 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 we must not have read the rules. I yeah. didn't think I didn't think it was being like negative. I, you know, I, 
Good on them. I, like, I, I'm, I'm happy that they're they're expanding. I'm happy that they're growing. I like to see that a business that started up here in Fort Worth that is having that success. But let's let's set success aside for a second and let's get back to making a good product. I, I, I agree with you. Like I, I I appreciate what Christy's saying is like there's too much negativity elsewhere, right? And there really is. Yeah. Um and, and I'm sure the rules have some kind of include included deal about being nice but what you but both of you were saying was not exactly like a hate no right? it wasn't no, no. like your food sucks it was like, like a backhanded this is the worst almost. it was like good for me i mean you. it was a back However, it was a backhanded compliment this is my sense, feedback but, yeah but it was still feedback it, was it wasn't feedback, yeah it wasn't just like a rough like just hit to the throat you know no. what i mean i mean if i wanted to be rough with them i would have said that their food sucks i never want to eat there again and i think they're shitty people but I didn't say that. It's really overpriced. I mean, I said that. It now. really is, absolutely, hundred percent. Like, like the, the way I tell people, I'm like, look, it's good. It's good to go once. It's yeah. great to go once for people out of town. Like, they obviously have heard of Heim. They want to go over there and try their bacon burn ends. But even now, like the, the quality hey, in that is your best friend's uh, brother's stupid. Well, yeah. Oh, he don't know nothing. Ponchos is wonderful. Shut anything. up. Oh, shit. They uh, they <laughs> did also do us wrong, which you know adds a little bit to it. Yeah, but, but otherwise the food. Regardless of that, yeah, there's better barbecue out there, and 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 that's the thing. And then to go on and say um, to make the comment that they didn't make top fifty on whatever, yeah. So that's a whole other story. They were too big, right? Isn't yes, that what they said basically, like, we didn't, didn't make it because yeah. we're too big. Yeah. No, come on, go check out. Look, I would I would say, hey, if you're in the Fort Worth area, spend some time, do your own research, go check out Heim, check out Goldies, check out Bricks, check out Panther City uh, Barbecue, check out Danes, which is our personal favorite. Go check them all out. Make Hurtado. your own. Hurtado is also amazing. Go yeah. make your own decision. But realistically, you know, it's just an opinion, right? It is. Yeah, that's all it is. But to restrict, <laughs> I'm just like, are you, are you kidding me? I still like Railhead. Railhead's one of my yeah, favorite barbecue joints, not because the barbecue is the best in the world. Good atmosphere. It's good atmosphere. Yeah. Good cold ass beers. The food is good. I'm not a fan of the owner, but and I still eat there. And it's right down the road from when we want to go see the Panther City Lacrosse Club. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And also the uh, the guys that run Pan- or Railhead are the guys that worked at Angelo's, and they just decided, well, let's open our own. But barbecue yeah, spot. just because someone has a difference of opinion doesn't mean you have to restrict them. Especially okay. if I'm not, if I, if I was bad mouthing them or if Javier was bad mouthing them so much, so like we were calling them names and stuff like that, then yeah, we probably should be. But how do you feel about Lord. that, Jordan? How do you feel about that? It's not fair. Nothing you said was wrong. I, I don't think so. I'm focusing, but I honestly have to pee so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can, like, you can. She's see? like, we gotta fucking wrap up. Okay, we can, we can just wrap we, up. We, we gotta wrap up. But yeah, so, I mean, no, like, I don't think that's like censorship. He didn't say anything bad. It wasn't like he was like, your food fucking sucks or something yeah, like that. Yeah. So like, I think it was okay. It shouldn't have like it should be like oh maybe give you a warning but like don't delete the comment and like block you from commenting yeah. that was stupid God, I was we were, uh, uh, three or four days from, something like that yeah, yeah yeah like we were blocked for three or four days like, from cool. blocking on there and I'm I, I I'm like oh okay well cool like fuck you yeah. all right all right so anyways I mean that, that's what that's what <laughs> I'm sorry to hijack it and I'm glad we had a we had a shared experience yeah, 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 absolutely yes. 100%. Um, so now it's time for our game how long can we play this game before Jordan flips the table. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? I will literally pee in this chair. <laughs> I have no shame. All right. Does anyone have any closing remarks before we go ahead and wrap this yeah, up? Yeah. Uh, hopefully everybody's doing what they're doing for their New Year's resolutions. And I hope you're trying one thing new every day and also one thing that scares you. Think about your life and maybe um, try something different. I mean, again, I'm going to go back to last week and say that uh, we're only here once. So enjoy yourself. Try to live your life when we have one. And um, much love to you. Nice. Love that. So thank you, everybody, that have been... Wait! Listen to the Forever Reckless podcast on all major platforms. Uh, go to Shop Forever Reckless for your gear. Um, again, tell us more. Like, When, when are these going to come out? And your social um, and everything? They will be up come February 1st. Awesome. Okay. You heard it here first. There you go. Um, tell us now also uh, your social media handles so that we people can check you out. It's just Jordan, but you know no one else, no one no one knows how to spell my name. Yeah, they right. don't. So Forever Reckless. Yeah, Forever Reckless. It'll be, it'll be in the description. Shop Forever Reckless for Reckless Podcast at Just Jordan. New okay. episodes come out every Tuesday. Tuesday. 
Yes. Awesome. Yeah, check her out. And thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. And thank you for the sweaters. We You're absolutely welcome. love them. We love them. Well, I and can't wait. We, uh, again, like, I wish we could have you on all the time. Like, that'd be fucking fun. I think you're a fantastic Shut person. up. She has got to go to the restroom. <laughs> you idiot. All right. Thank you for everyone that's been watching on YouTube. If you don't already do so, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, let us know what you think about the podcast and the show. Uh, if you don't already follow us on social media, you can find us on all the social media at The Funky Panther. And you can also see everything at The Funky Panther.com. Thank you. We love you. Stay good. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. I'm Tim. And we are The, the Funky, Funky Panther. Panther. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. Go watch Yellowstone on everything. <laughs>